Dr. Owusu or Chalk is Dr. O for the 804 as the premier knee and hip shoulder sports surgeon, Virginia. I would like to remind you that health equals power. Sports build and uplift communities. Nothing else can. The mission of sports medicine is to keep athletes of all ages and levels at the top of their game. Dr. O is located at Ortho, Virginia, Schrader Road office location. Appointments can be scheduled online at orthovirginia.com or by calling 804-939-6688. You can follow Dr. O on Instagram at Dr. O underscore for the 804 and uplifting educational content about sports health. Hi, everyone. I'm Coach Rick Stockel. I am co-owner of Newman and Dunn Real Estate here in Central Virginia, as well as I am a high school boys basketball coach at Monacan High School. I've sold over 1,300 homes here in Central Virginia, and I would love to work with you and your family in your home buying needs. Uh, I am a proud primary sponsor of Ballin in Virginia, and I hope you enjoy this show. Welcome to another episode of Ballin' in VA. We got a special today, man. We got the Armstrong Wildcats in the house, man. Football coaching staff here, Jeremy Pruitt and staff. And um, we got some stuff to talk about. We ain't gonna even, you know, we, we already know what it is. Y'all know why they here. I know why they here. And we just gonna just jump right into it, man. So what's up, coach? What's going on, Willie? Thanks for having me today. Hey, man, look, we know you, I, I heard you ain't shy, so, you know, we we, we just going, <laughs> you no, know. I, I'm not shy look, at all. Look, 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 let me go ahead and shout about Kanal White, how he do. Yeah. But um, first, it was somebody, um, the Armstrong uh, page reached out to me, man, right. and um, thought it would be the right thing to do. He said he thought this was the right platform right. for you to be on, and I didn't hesitate. Right. And I'm just glad you accepted my call and yeah. my message or whatever. And I'm glad that y'all here, man. Yeah, thanks for having us. Ain't no having problem, man. We're going to talk about this season. Right. We're going to talk about, you know, that controversial suspension, you know, and all of that stuff today. Yes, um, but first, man, introduce yourself, where you started from, and then introduce your staff, man. And okay. Let them kind of do what they do. Okay, Jeremy Pruitt, uh, third-year head coach of the Armstrong Wildcats. Uh, I've been... A Wildcat coach for maybe six, seven years. Mm -hmm. I got my first start with uh, Coach Kenny Painter. Okay. You know Kenny? No. I don't yeah, know. that's my dog. Yeah, he gave me my <laughs> first start at uh, defensive coordinator, and I never looked back. Okay. You know? Okay. What's Kenny? What Kenny doing now? Uh, Kenny, he was coaching at Princess Inn in uh, Lance, Lance Town. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nine seven five. Right. Okay. Yes, okay. Yeah. You you want to go, man? Uh, my name is Coach. Gene Henry, um, I am the assistant head coach slash uh, offensive coordinator slash receivers coach. Uh, I've been coaching for probably the past close to 10 years, man. Man, well, you uh, guys young, man. <laughs> yeah, but maybe longer than that. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I started off right after I graduated college. Uh, I started off in Pennsylvania. Okay. I coached out there. So I've been Philadelphia, coached out there. And then after that, I'm going to uh, New Mexico. And I turned the program out around around that area so I, I kind of been all over prep schools I even coached college for a while too okay so I kind of been in, all over the ranks in a sense and then I ended up meeting Pruitt you know what I mean I ain't gonna lie from what I've been told around here it's kind of clickish. yeah yeah, yeah it is true yes and people was like if you if you're not for Richmond they're not gonna hire you around here just by they don't care what what, what experience you have right mm -hmm. and he was looking for a staff and like you know what I mean one of my guys put him up put me on with him man he gave me the opportunity right away Mm -hmm. You know, we talked football. He knew that we had the same mindset. We had the same goal. We gave him an opportunity. And then from there, it went up from there. We we gradually won games each each and every year. And now we had we had a better spot. You know what I mean? So That's great, man. You know, putting that East End back on the mount. You know, 2300 Cool Lane. You know, I went through them sure. doors, not as a wildcat. You know, we <laughs> talked about that. You know, shout out to the Cougars. But, yeah. you know, hey, it is what it is. Yeah. One word I could describe about this guy is, is, is loyal, man. He's been loyal from the start. Well, that's what you that's need, it, man. That's it. You know, and, and the thing is, before we get to your um, um, next coach, man, and that's what that's what we need. We need more of that because mm -hmm. what I try to highlight is that a lot of people, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors, right. man. And a lot of times, you know, I can't make it out to every game and I can't catch every Instagram tweet or stuff like right. that. So we try to get you guys on the shed like because this is the opportunity that – 
a lot of times around here, we don't have nothing like this. Right. Yeah. So I just kind of want y'all to kind of just, you know, shed some light and just tell it like it is, man, because these young men we need, especially in that area. Yes, sir. We, we never had nothing over yes, there. Sir. So the stuff that y'all did today, I mean, this year, mm -hmm. we got to talk about that. He, we got to highlight it. He the man to do it. He he don't definitely, I don't think you understand, our struggles is right smack dab in the middle of the hood. I don't care. Nobody <laughs> got to say. You were surrounded by multiple hoods. And people got to say, our struggles, nah, our strong sports have really changed a lot of these kids' lives. And this man here, I don't care. We've had kids that were cancers, and he kept them on the team. Trust me, we as coaches got fed up after a while, but he's like, nah, I'm not letting them back on the street. So he'd rather just take right. the cancer than let them back on the street and struggle and be, you know, living that street life. He gave them opportunities that most people will, will give. So he's kind of one of those people that he really care about the kids more than he care about himself. Like, like I said, man, our day would just start ending now. He would have to take about four or five kids home. Yeah. Not understanding. He drive a small car. <laughs> Listen, I got to take my three home. He got to take my four or five home. He got to take my two home. It's not like our job is over. Our job is still have to drop these kids off, feed them, clothe. It, it's not our job, but we still do it. But see, they don't understand it. I've, I've had Dio on here. I had Jeremy uh, uh, Blunt down at Phoebus. They mm -hmm. say the same thing, right. you know. And, and, and that was the thing, when you were in the inner city like that, and again, like I tell people, when we walk out that building, you go left, it was Creighton Court, mm -hmm. Fairfield. Definitely. Fa Fairfield Street. Jackson, you go right, all the you, 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 you got you got Wooker. <laughs> then if you kind of go past that, you, you got Mosby. Right. So if you run out that building, you run across that highway, and good luck trying to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and, but like I told him, in the school, you call Richard City. Uh -huh. You come outside, you call Henrico County. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, trust me, been there four years. I, I know that's good, my man. You know what I'm saying? But no, that's, that's great, man, because people don't understand. If you ain't been in that environment, you wouldn't know. Right. You wouldn't know. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And I did not want to go there because I, was, I went to Henderson. Mm -hmm. So, I was supposed to go to John Marshall. My mama went to Kennedy. Right. So she was like, no, you going over there. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> she love. I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> you, got you know what I'm saying? That. My uncle went there. I'm like, no, I'm not. But Sorry. I had to do it. So hey, you got to have a, 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 a big heart. Hey, man. Yeah, strong, tough skin. A very hey, big heart. when we walk skin. in the building, the way it was, you come down the hallway, you had woke up on the side. Mm. You come on the back house, it was Highland Park. Mm. You go in the, right, right over there, it was Mosby. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we had every borough in the city. Yeah. Then they had the magnet program, so you had Jackson Ward in there. Mm. So it was just like, <laughs> then you had the West End. So you walked yeah, in, that's why I was like, side. you don't know what you're going to yeah, get. Yeah, then you had the whole South Side, side over there. Blackwell, Woke up was Black beefing well, on that time. People don't understand. They like, don't know. Now imagine having a coach, a lot of these kids that don't like each other. Right. Don't get me wrong. It started like that when we first got yeah. into the program. Mm -hmm. It was kids did not, I'm not playing with him. I'm not about right. to talk to him, yeah. trying to get them to start fighting. But this man had to really like get them to become a whole brotherhood. I don't think you understand. Like, how hard is it to get all the kids that do not like each other? Oh, I know. To talk. <laughs> it all starts with like keeping it real. Like, you leave, we keep it real. Hey, look. I'm not going to cut it short. Nah, I'm straightforward. I'm going to keep it real. I, I'm, I, I'm like a father, mentor, big brother. All of that. Yeah. Pastor. <laughs> you got coach. All of it. Barber. All of it. Fashion expert. All of it. Yeah. You, know you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. But no, we're going to get into that, man. Let's introduce the rest of these coaches, and we're going to get back and circle around <laughs> to that, man. All right. I'm Nick Alvin, uh, quarterback's coach and free safety's coach. Uh -huh. uh, started off coaching football in 2009, 2010 area, um, down in the 757. Want to give a shout out to Coach Williams, give me my first start. I uh, was JV head coach back then. Um, been moving through the ranks ever since. Uh, funny story is I met Pruitt, and he was recruiting at our school. I'm a middle school teacher uh, at MLK. So the same okay. type of kids that they have at their high school, I just have the smaller versions of them. Right. So uh, just imagine going from the smaller version to the bigger version of them straight to practice after school. You got most of the court across the street. Right across the you. street. Right across <laughs> the street. But I uh, met Pruitt. Seen him in school, just started talking to him, seeing that what he was trying to do, what he was trying to change. Mm -hmm. uh, I was hesitant at first. I uh, came out to practice and sat in the stands. Some of the kids thought I was a college coach out there recruiting. Sat in the stands just to watch practice and see how things were maneuvering out there, how things were going. Mm -hmm. um, soon as I got a chance to speak to him on one-on-one -on -one basis, he felt that, hey, this guy might be able to help our program. So I felt that he was going to bring me aboard, and he did. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I've been there every day, ever since. Um, just like he said about Coach Gene, I think he could put me in the same category as being loyal. Sir. Um, he knows that when I'm by myself with these kids, that we're working the whole entire time. And just trying to bring that community together that we see from the kids that we have, that man has done a tremendous job. And I've only been there two years. And like I said, just to get kids to buy into a situation, that's very difficult. And it takes time. Mm -hmm. No one's going to turn a program around in one year. It takes time to turn the program around and make sure you got the right pieces to fit and to make sure they balance together. So I think I give Coach Pruitt a huge commitment on that just to get our team as being one. Because we had days where <laughs> last year, 13 kids at workout, 15 kids at workout. Yeah, we had kids miss playoffs. Miss like, playoff game. Like playoffs before we did, we had kids that was not coming before the playoffs. Yeah. And we're like, well, you got playoffs. Mm. But – Get the kids to buy it was the hardest part, man. Right, and I uh one thing I want to give him his flowers. He definitely deserved him him, and uh you know the head coach for JV. Okay. Them kids, I mean these people didn't come by themselves. Yeah. They bought a flock of kids. They definitely Are you did. serious? So once he hopped on board, that was our first year having a JV in eight years. And so. I think having that JV program brought a lot of success to our varsity team because. Some of those kids were then the JV team playing with me for a year, year and a half, mm -hmm. came up to varsity, making touchdowns, first downs, having big plays for us. Mm -hmm. So I think just having a JV at Armstrong helps out our varsity, but I wish we can in Richmond, shout out to Richmond, but I'm from the 7-5. Middle school football is something that I think it, that we yeah, need. Definitely, it is. Get better up It's here. big down there. It yeah. definitely from being that, field. From not being from here and seeing the progress that one school can have as a whole unit, from that middle school to the high school, it's Teach a big you. jump. It's a big jump. You don't have to start from the Stop, bottom man. of teaching. I'm from Florida. Rec plays a major part. Oh, my man. God. We're so far. But the, the problem <laughs> is, don't give me, I don't have no disrespect towards the rec program, but they don't really, a lot of these rec gotta programs teach. are for gotta stuff, teach. man. They're not trying to teach the kids. They want to win. Man, we at one point had a rec program to try to take. All right. They're trying to take some of my kids. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is a grown boy. Man, you trying to get him to play rec football. And I'm like, I don't think you understand. You're doing him a disservice because he's right. trying to, he's about to get ready to leave because you're feeding him underneath the table right. money and you buy him sneakers and stuff just to come and get him to play. And that was doing him a disservice. Yeah. All these big schools want him, but you're taking him to go play wreck because you want the win. That's not helping him. Cause we built him and got him ready. We made sure he left it. Oh, he hated us. But he understands why we do it. They all always go hate us. They're not gonna understand. But the rec programs don't really do these kids no justice. Don't get me wrong. I have no problem with rec. But coming from Florida, you literally were taught everything down to the T. And if you just wasn't good enough to play, you wasn't ready to play yet. And that's just what it was. Football down there is different because they they literally football is life down there. Mm -hmm. And that's just the norm. And she so coming from too. here, and I'm looking at the rec programs, I'm like, yeah, rec programs too, like they for self around here. They're not trying to talk to the head coach, be like, yo, what you run so we can run the same thing. So by the time the kids come up to JV, they run the same exact thing. It's just a whole trickle effect. And that's like, what I supposed to be. That's how it was supposed stones. to be. Well, I could rebuttal that. Eastern Wildcats reached out. Yeah, that no, see, Eastern then, Wildcats reached out to run our offense. Shout out to East End, man. Right. They they reached out to run our offense and defense, but it just didn't, you know, didn't come through. Out. So shout out to them. Okay. Yeah. But that's the only rec team in the city. Literally. Back then, we used to have Mosby, Hoskin, Shumbo. I played for Shumbo. Okay. I played for Mosby. But then I came back home. They got all the rec teams in one. Kabob. No, no kids come out and play no more. Mm -hmm. right. All the kids go play in the county. Yeah, yeah that, that's what happened. Everybody take their kids out and move to the county, man. And the funny thing is their parents are from Richmond. <laughs> and their parents are from South South. Tr trust me. Oh, I know. <laughs> Introduce yeah. yourself, well, man. I'm and Nasir Chavis, coach defensive end, D-line. My first year coaching high school football. But um, doing, this is my off season right now. I played down in the USFL for the New Orleans Breakers. Okay. So, yeah, I came back home. I went to Armstrong, graduated from Armstrong. Graduated from MLK, so I'm from Churchill. You from the so community? Yeah, yes, sir. I Big part. Been there, grew up in it, been around it. So just being back and seeing what Pruitt are doing with the community and the whole program is just that part. That's what made me come back. And I seen all the kids, and I seen what they had going, and I seen what they had growing, and I had wanted to be a part of it. And I'm glad he let me be a part of it. Yeah, very easy, 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 easy that, bro. 
Young oh, lady. Me. <laughs> and last but not least. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm shy, Miss Shy to the kids. Okay. So I'm not a coach. Um, but I would say my role is I don't know. Professional <laughs> development. Yeah, <everybody. laughs> Look, they got it all ready. She's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all She's <laughs> all like, she's a huge part of she's like success, but, our success, man. She's a yeah. huge part. And I brought her here to give her her flowers. You know what yeah, I mean? She really deserves it. Man. She's under the radar. She need to get the spotlight on See her. You know what I'm saying? See, mm -hmm. females get love on this Let's program. See, I don't here. think you're right. like, I She's a huge that. part. I like, appreciate that. Man, she don't come through so many times. So we were like, man, what are we gonna do? I got y'all. Oh, thank you, Miss Shaw. Like, <laughs> you don't understand from from charter buses. Yeah. You got you got yeah, definitely. Who mm -hmm. All came from her and her she program. Be, man. Some, gotta have structure, man. Some Females programs structure. Come on. don't even have like she even had a program where she had the kids. Working on budgeting. When you leave school, you don't know what budget it is. Some of these kids will talk about, oh, I got this amount of money. Do it. She's like, no, no, no. Be realistic. When you start adding car payments and bills and, and living and stuff like that, you got to start doing all the credit cards and all that. They're like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to up with $20. The crazy thing is she bought the movie money that looks real. Real. Prop money so they could really learn. Are and you I was serious? Like, yeah, most yeah. most oh. people don't even have this. Like. I wish I had all this stuff. I wish I knew about credit cards. I yeah. wish I knew that they're going to try to target you while you are in, in uh, college. They ain't teaching. Because you easy. That's, That's what I'm saying. But she teaching them this. She let them know, like, listen, y'all going to have to budget. Be realistic. Half y'all ain't going to live with your parents. You got you to gotta actually pay rent. Actually pay a car payment. Mm -hmm. Or you got to take the bus if you ain't got no money. What you going to have to do with yourself? You got to pay for it. I'm like, man, I know. Is this hard being an adult? Yeah, y'all about to be adults now. Be prepared. All right. So what made you decide to actually do that? I mean, what was kind of... I mean, I, I, I know, but let mm -hmm. us know. I work with low-income, at-risk youth. And one of the schools that, um, when I first came in, it's crazy because the program I worked for, that my first year, their plan was to remove Armstrong because they had the lowest amount of school participation. Mm -hmm. That was six years ago. So I told my supervisor, hey, give me one year and let me see what I can do. That first year, I had 250 students sign up for the TRIO program, and every year thus far, I have students, like, I literally have, like, a wait list of students wanting to be a part of TRIO. Wow. Yeah. And then the thing, too, is, of course, with every program, there's limitations. So me being the person that I am, I go... I put myself in a position so I can be able to support outside of what I can do through my program. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what I do may not come through TRIO, but I'm going to do what I got to do to make it happen. So I've known, when did I meet you? My first year yeah. I met you. So when he became the head coach, I was like, all right, let me know what you need from me, and I got you. So that included, like, over the summers, I'm there with the boys. We doing yoga. Oh, wow. yeah, we oh, forgot about, about the yoga. yoga. Yeah. about the yoga. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yoga in the city? <laughs> Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Like flexible. Sure, we can't yeah. even spell yoga. You know what I'm saying? Get know that. Like, uh, listen, yeah. man, we couldn't even get that. I mean, continue on. Yeah, so yoga. I'm doing different workshops with them. Every t I have students, especially my seniors right now, every time they see me in the hallway, you introducing yourself. You making eye contact, firm handshakes. Because I want our kids to be able to articulate themselves. I want right. them to be able to speak in these different rooms and not be looked at as uneducated or like they lack the skills to do so. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, whatever I need to do to help my kids be great, I'm going to do it. So sometimes that looks like being mama. Sometimes that looks like um, coming to the practices and fussing and cussing if I need to. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that looks like me getting those reports cards and having those conversations with teachers sometimes that look like both of us on google translate trying to help you finish this spanish work because wow. i need you to get an a in this class so i really think that that's why i said i'm not a coach and i don't know what to call what i do <laughs> but i know that i'm a support and i'm a rap for my kids that's that's my thing and whatever it is that he's doing I'm there. I tell them all the time, what do you need? Tell me what you need, and I'm going to do what I can to make it happen. Now, he be hard-headed and not always tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I don't like to need. stress people out, man. Yeah, I don't like to stress people right. out. But my thing is, like I tell him all the time, use me as a resource. Right. And if I, have, if I don't have it, I'm going to get to somebody that has it to make sure that my kids have what they need. So for me, it goes far beyond my program. It goes far beyond... Um, a lot of things are transactional. 
And for me, it's not transactional. My heart is in right. it. Right. So it's like, I ha I love these boys like their minds. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you upset, if you whatever, let me shine know and, and we're going to fix it. So. See, that's how we do yeah. things in our community, you know, and, I, and I'm saying this and I'm kind of being funny because, and the reason why I'm being funny, because the outset, those affluent areas, you know, speaking in those northern Virginia regions, mm -hmm. which we're going to go into, they kind of tend to look down on our community and they do stuff and they can't really understand and relate why we do stuff. And then they do it and then they try to. And I know I'm towing the line here, but I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> but this is the truth because every time that we if, if we have to be apologetic for why we do certain things, and I don't feel right. like that we do this, and so we want you to kind of understand what we're going through. And Michelle just explained to you what we go through in our community, so y'all can understand why we kind of act the way we do. We kind of carry the way because we don't get those same things that they get in those nice. Areas, and I'm pretty sure when y'all went up to Brentsville, y'all saw that, right? Yeah, absolutely. I did. Well, uh, <laughs> I, did. I can't, I can't say one Look. thing. Um, watching other coaches that I've just looked, so I seen on you the other day. I'll give a shout out to uh, what is that man's name? Um, just about to play Highland Springs, What's uh, Overton coach. Overton, I'm give a shout out to you. Um, you definitely were right. They're starting to get nervous of what success looks like because, Fact. amen, bro. I feel that. Like he said in his little episode I was watching, success looks is starting to look different and people don't want to accept it. Right. Success is starting to look different type of hair, different right. type of colors, exactly. Skin, earrings, gold teeth, the way they walk, the way they wear their clothes. So it's starting to look different to other people that already have seen success or already have been successful. So when they start seeing things that are looking different, coming to the same attribute or the same level, Oh, oh, something ain't right. Right, slow it right. Down. Let's slow it down. It's right, scary. slow it down. Let's get scared. See what I'm saying, Dio? You didn't came on here, man, and you took it over my team. area, man. Team. I don't yeah. like that, Dio. I watch every <laughs> episode of uh, Freedom, by right Freedom, yeah. Freedom, yeah. Freedom by Forty. Freedom by Forty. Freedom by Forty. But I understand what he's saying. Man, though. Hey, he's preaching. And even though I'm 804. I mess with you, dog. Yeah. Give me your flowers, yeah. bro. Yeah. You See, think, bro? what do I be trying to tell y'all? We do differently things down here in 804. See. Every those areas, was it seven zero three seven five seven? And you know from seven five seven, they are pro seven five seven. They would not. Yeah, yeah. Man, you know we the <laughs> PD. We got this. We got that. Yeah. We here. We can like look, and we gonna show love. We are gonna show love everywhere. That's yeah. just how we do. Yeah. But so I'm glad that y'all you watched them episodes, man. Because the thing about it is. Hey, man, we, hey, I'm going to see what they doing up there. You know what I'm saying? Let me see what's going on, how they doing and stuff like this. So I'm glad that you hit it on that, man, because right. I'm telling you, this is why we have to do We learn from each other, man, because if we don't, we think that oh, it, it's yeah, weak. supposed to be like this. Yeah, right. Yeah. You don't know what nobody else go through. I, I continue to say that. You never know who's watching. Yes, sir. So, man, so no, shout out to D.O. and Freedom, man. Good luck, to, you know, for y'all this weekend. But I'm taking them Springers, dog. I'm taking them Springers. Uh, me too, uh, me too. Just got to do that, D.O. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, got, I got a question for you. Oh, shit. You know, uh, <laughs> what do you think about Armstrong from the outside looking in? Not sports or anything, like just the building. What do you think about it? You said, what do I think about Armstrong from the outside looking in? Yeah, what's the perception outside? What's the perception? Mm -hmm. My perception or just the general? Just, just the general. What, what are the things you heard? Because I'm here to clear it all up. <laughs> That's a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> you Listen, we already know what the general perception is. Right. The general perception is is that, and, and I'll just get from my experience, that it's, it's the hood. It's project kids. Right. Um, they ain't got no sense. Mm -hmm. That's just general perception. Um, you know, I remember when, and I and I'll tell a crazy story. When I was with Kennedy, you know, I got I was in the marching band. Marching band. I got kicked out the marching band. Me and one of the best drummers. So we had to go. <laughs> I shouldn't say this. We <laughs> we wanted to do it so bad. We went to, to Armstrong, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was funny that we got into. We 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 played TJ. Mm -hmm. It was a real, real real story. So we had played TJ TJ on a Saturday morning. We got into a fight with TJ, Absolutely. the band, the marching band. Mm -hmm. They was calling us Project Kids and stuff. I'm saying, wait a minute, I live in Holland Park. Like, 
you know, why did he, you know, but that was the perception of people that went to TJ. Right. They thought that, uh, that that was the natural perception that y'all project kids and all this stuff. So I keep saying that because that's what they say. Mm -hmm. So that's what the perception would be from what I experienced. So, but that's not who, that's not really what it was. Okay. Can I speak to that a little bit? Because yeah. no, right when now. I hear that, that's one of the things that it highly upsets me. Let's Trust say that. me. Because I feel like this, a lot of people that have that perception of the students at Armstrong have never set foot in Armstrong. Thank you. Yes. And yeah. I know firsthand, because I'm in there every single day, mm -hmm. that we have some amazing, bright, brilliant kids inside of that building. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so mm -hmm. much potential in that building. And my thing is this, before you can judge the type of kids that we have, have a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. Talk to them understand them like try to put yourself in their shoes a lot of our kids have to go through a whole lot just to get to school in the morning Literally. and my thing is this my just goal to to it, just to get to practice mm -hmm. if they're not taking care of a sibling situations with their parents right. like it's so many moving pieces where society sets them up to fail or already tell them ahead of time that they fail i had a student that tell me um my first year he was like oh i already know i'm not gonna live to see 18. They already told me that. I'm like, right. who is they and, and why are you listening to it? Mm -hmm. On his 18th birthday, he came to my office and me and him looked at each other and bust out crying. And right now he's at Virginia State. See you know what I'm saying? My thing is this. You, we put so much negative energy and, and we speak so negatively over these kids mm -hmm. that when you hear something so much, you begin to believe it yourself mm -hmm. and then wonder why the kids feel like there's nothing more than what they see in front of them. Mm -hmm. So I have made it my goal that I'm going to show you that there's more to life than the projects. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you that it's more to life than what people tell you. I'm going to show you how to affirm yourself and encourage yourself when everybody else is talking to you or talking down on you. Because that, that's the one thing that gets me. We have some amazing that's kids. Okay. And I'm, I will yell it. I will argue. I will fuss and cuss. To, I, I get into it with people all the time when it comes to these kids. Because you're not about to make them feel small when that's really not the case. And uh, right at the school school let's be honest most of these kids going into survival mode absolutely. absolutely we can't remember what we just learned when i gotta find my next meal right yeah. you know what i'm saying when i gotta go grab a gun to walk to the store to feed my little sister yeah you know we in survival mode that's the type of kids we deal with that's the kids we love on you know what i'm saying and i can't stand for the perception to be like that because mm -hmm. we work so hard as a unit to love on these guys mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's bigger than football and with those, yeah. with those at all, sometimes people get a bad perception of our kids, but you ask for their report cards, ask for right. uh, a progress report, mm -hmm. A, 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 B, A, B, A, B. We have a lot of scholar roles, a lot of honor roll kids. Like, our kids are definitely putting in the work in the classroom and on the field. And both showed this season. Let's talk about that. We got 36 kids on a 3.0 list. On a 3.0 list, 36 and kids. it grows every year. Last year was 30. It is still yeah. growing. Every year it grows. Like, we showing you know our kids that, a different though. way. We, we understand where you're coming from. All your coaches came from the same situation. Right. Either you're going to stay in that situation or you're going to find your way to get up out of there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's easy to come back and visit, say hey and Kay, say bye. Right. But learn something if you're going out there to spend some time away so when you come back, you can be a better person or be able to make something for yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're trying to make sure we install in our kids. Man. Because we have some that play football in high school with us. Right. And they're not playing in college, but they went to college and they're doing something. They're, doing something. they're in school degree. trying to better themselves. So football is not the answer for everybody. We right. all over here know. We'll always sell them that too. But school and having something to do after high school is something positive that we try to install in them. Inst like every day, hey, we have to have a plan because they're not going to care about you, these grown-ups and stuff, once you cross that threshold. That's so it. now it's time to shine. What are you going to do now? You know, and, and it's crazy because when I, um, I say it was about 2000, 2001, and me and my math teacher, uh, shout out to Miss Johnson, we didn't get along at all. <laughs> like, we used to, oh my God, like, 10th grade, we used to, like, she was military though. You know what I'm okay. saying? So she gonna stay in her, I'm still on there. And I bought a car from a dealership, which crazy, it was, it was ended up being her nephew. He used to work on cars, he was working for this lady. 
And I was there one day, and she was just like, man, you know, like he was like, how do you know my nephew? How do you know Larry? She was like, you know, I taught him, and we couldn't stand each other, blah, 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 blah. And I was telling her at the time, I was actually going around trying to, I was trying to work at the group home. So I had to do a lot of volunteer work. Mm -hmm. So for the next two years, I was actually going back to, um, it was Kennedy at the time, going back and volunteering my time in the schools between them and Henderson. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of, you know, doing the things that y'all was saying. And a lot of times you don't have enough of that because it's like people leave the neighborhood but then don't want to come back. Yeah. And that's why I tell people, you have no idea what some people do and you don't hear about it because we don't have platforms like this like now where we can actually sit around and actually talk about that stuff, yeah, man. Yeah. So the fact that y'all highlighting this stuff because, again, the schools that we have on here typically don't have those issues. Yeah. But... Again, I had Hugh and I had Charles Scott mm -hmm. went to them. Talked about the same things. Cool people. Phoebus, same thing. Yeah, you know where it is. Yes, sir. Hey, Tim, we, you, we saw with Phoebus is that when we went down there. And I was like, God damn. Hey, shout out to Phoebus, my little cousin. He got a uh, state championship game. He got to win on Saturday. Last name, Allman. Check him out. Hey, man. And, and that's the thing. So, you know, and same thing, John Marsh, you're going to have that coaching staff on here for basketball. And we talked about that off air, oh, about mm -hmm. what the, the, the things that they're dealing with over there, man. Mm -hmm. So, no, man, it takes a special group of people to work in that environment because they can't understand, they can't relate. Mm -hmm. So I definitely give y'all kudos, all of y'all for Appreciate doing that, man. Because yes, again, the same thing that Coach Johnson said at Hollis Springs, Coach Pook and all of them, mm -hmm. y'all about to spend more time doing this than your own family. Sacrifice, <laughs> yeah. sacrifice. Oh, uh, we not with it, we talking about it with each other. Right, <laughs> talking you know about what I'm saying? It. So I think the parents should give more I have more understanding, I think, because a lot of times you don't get that. You get more what y'all ain't doing yeah. than what y'all yeah. are doing. Yeah. Would I be correct in saying Yeah, the parents gave me hell at the beginning, but they starting to come around and yeah. understand the bigger mm -hmm. picture. Yeah. I'm here to be a father figure. I'm here to teach you how to become a young man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I might be rough in the mouth, but it's all love. You it's know what I'm saying? Love. It's all love. I say what I want out of my mouth sometimes. You know, it'd it be funny, but it's always a lesson in it. It's a lesson. It's always a lesson in it. You know, I speak in parables a lot. You know how they do. That New York always a lesson. And another thing I want to speak on is, shout out to Dr. Bell. He gave me the, yeah. the job. Him okay. and uh, Glenn Anderson gave me the job to be uh, the head coach okay. during COVID. And I want to shout him out, give him his flowers, because Armstrong is one of the most well-behaved city schools. Maybe we behave better than some county schools. Oh, I'm sure. But they people don't. don't talk about that. Yeah, people don't talk, people about don't talk about it. Like uh, if you come to Armstrong, yeah, you gonna see a fight or two once every month. It, it, but it's not what people think, think it, it is. is. It's so people not, don't come to the school and walk through. Right, like, because a lot of times the county kids act worse than the than, than right. city they do. kids. Right, when the bell ring, maybe two, three people walking in the hall. The halls are empty. Literally, that man has brought so much structure in the building. He hired a lot of men. Mm -hmm. A lot of men. We need that. You know? We need that. To implement structure. So I wanted to give him his flowers as well. Man, that's that's dope. See, that's what I said. I didn't know. Yeah. I, I kind of been so far removed from it, man. It's just like, it's like the same thing. And if you're not willing to put the time into it, which I didn't have the time to do it anymore, you, you don't know. You kind of lose track of things. So I, I appreciate y'all coming on here and giving us the behind the scenes backstories mm -hmm. that we yes, typically sir. don't get. Yeah, you know, so no, let's let's go right into it, man. Let's talk about this season, man. You know, um, what, what was the record? What, eight and three? Nine, not nine, not and four. nine and four. Nine, nine and four. four. Okay. Um, <laughs> each year, I wanted to grow. So the first year after COVID, we went what two and eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next year we went four, four and six. Seven. Okay. First year playoffs, we got smoked. By well, Meridian. Smoke. That's up and north of the bad. Yeah, I don't know. Huddle, <laughs> huddle, wing T kind of off. We got smoke. Okay, I don't even know. Second no year, we go four and six. We get a four seed. We get a home seed. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Please, please. I'm, I'm, go ahead. I'm definitely with you on that. <laughs> I know wait, it's wait, weird. Wait, 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 wait. I know it's weird. Let, let, From a different the, area. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Y'all got in the playoffs with losing records. We got in the playoffs. One year, I think we was what? When I was uh, DC, we got in the playoffs at one and nine. One year we was owing something, I, I believe. Days. 
Yeah, it's, it's different. different. See, okay. Before we, we kind of we go down. I hate it's that. different. I, but but our schedule was ridiculous. How can you get rewarded by going to the playoffs by winning one? It's not your fault, but Virginia High School League got to do better. Do they do this in Florida? Nope. That's what I thought. But it hasn't always been like that. They don't do it in New York. It hasn't always been like that. No, it hasn't because when I came up in the 90s. Yeah. You might go 9 and 1. You might not make the play. The only game that we won, we won two games in four years, and two of them was against Armstrong. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And that was homecoming. That was it. We playing Lee Davis, Huguenot, they blowing us out. Mm -hmm. You don't get rewarded for that. Now with this reclassification and this it's no child different. left behind, all this other stuff, it's on my goddamn nerves. I'm man. sorry. Yeah. That, but I'm going to take it. And, and again, it's nothing against the program. Again, <laughs> it's nothing against the program. Seven and three, six and four, eight and two, you you, 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 you were sitting at home. Right. Mm -hmm. Sitting at home. Exactly. What is, I remember back in the day when Armstrong, not Armstrong, with Verona and Holland Springs used to play. They were signing those. The loser went home. Yeah. The Monarchan coach quit because they was 9-1 and one and lost the bird and quit mm -hmm. the job because he was like, how can I go 9-1 and one and not, get a, not go to the playoffs? Florida State. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one right you know, That's a good one. We're going to need to roll into that. We'd be here for another two hours yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to mind the hurricane song because I kind of love that situation. You're a Florida guy, you know what I mean? That's a, you're the best. The best. Politics, yeah. man. Politics. God damn. But I'm sorry. I ain't mean to mess you up. But go ahead. Finish talking about that. We kind of got off track. Sorry about um, that. Ah, I'm lost to that quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, the, uh, reward us. About y'all went one and nine. Y'all went. Oh yeah, just trying like to get to the playoffs. Yeah, right. Um, that Caroline game that we had up here, uh, my first year, went the overtime, and we already know sometimes you just have to win mm -hmm. and win convincingly. Okay. Um, some places you go, and we try not to let our kids understand. Hey, other people might be against you when we're playing, but go out there and beat the team that you're playing, and let all the dust settle. Mm -hmm. Um, last year playoff game kind of hurt. You know what I'm saying? This year's hurt a little worse because we were a little further, but we understood the process that it took to get there. Mm -hmm. And but, all of us over here are hungry to get back. But you called it. Yeah. you. He yeah. called it. Well, After that loss, he said we're going to be even better next year. I was a little skeptical because I lost <coughs> my, my, my studs, a couple yeah. studs. He called it. He was like, yo, we're going to be better this year coming up. Yeah. Man, it, it, like I said, man, I, I just want to say Again, it's good that city football is back. Fact. You know, you had Hugh and I in there this year. Yes, sir. You guys was there. TJ was there, which we'll get into that. Um, that's where it used to be when we came up, man. We had somewhere to go on Friday nights. Hubby Field. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. people weren't scared to come over to 2300 Cool Lane. It was good by driving around and going around and you could look over there and see the people mm -hmm. going to the stadium and stuff like that. Now they got the little thing. Because people used to stand outside. <laughs> yeah, I believe. Before, they used to look inside the gate. <laughs> now y'all got the little, yeah, little yeah, top up there. Yeah, like, come on, man. People in yeah. Fairfield, everybody can't afford to come to the game, man. Let them watch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, man. You know, but again, um, you know, y'all trended up. So... This year, y'all got out to a start, man. Then, then what happened? Y'all went to we started out four and zero, right? Then we went, uh, we played in Rico, in Rico, yeah, in Rico, young and scrappy. A yeah. lot of people try to downplay yeah, them, but they over there too. They young and scrappy. We've been we've been sparring with them all summer, mm -hmm. and it get it get real chippy out yeah. there. Okay. You know what I so, mean? I love it. Okay. It get real chippy. So you know, I ain't got no excuses. They came out there. Put belt the ass. That's it. Yeah. Put belt the ass. That's twice that it They made their memes and they post them like, yo, we made our bet, laying it. Laying it. How bad was the score? It was 17 0. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but the way it happened, like they dominated us. Okay. That makes sense. Shout out to him right there. Yeah, word. Shout out to home. flat too with it. Like, our guys couldn't persevere, get past it. They just. They just took the belt. Like you said, the belt has. They, they wasn't trying to do nothing better to get past it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We thought, you know, but hey. The then LL. after Henrico, where we went, we went up to uh, Friendship. He set us up with that one. Friend no, I didn't no, set us no, up. No, no, no. no. I think it was a good Friendship is like a, uh, They play St. Bosco. They play the big, big. St. John Bosco. They play, you know, national. They all IMD casual. type. Type st yeah. status. Why what I just said. We oh. know. No, we, no. we knew. I, I'm glad we played. Him. No, coach I needed that game. We knew, but I wanted <laughs> to do it. Like needed that game. I wanted to do it for the exposure. 
Yeah, let's yeah. get these kids out the hood. Man, they got let's love take this. Okay, okay, I let's, see where you're going. Yeah, let's okay, take I this bus up to DC that. and let's learn from it. And overall, that helped us towards the end yep. of the season. Yeah, no, it did. Well, you know, that Aguilar. was the best line okay. we played. They got kids going to LSU, Bro, Penn, Penn State, State, South Carolina, Toledo. All types of people. We only lost 33 16. Yeah, because y'all, those kids being recruited, they can recruit and all that yeah. stuff like that. Right. Big kids. Yeah. 6'6, six, 6'7, six, six, yeah. six, yeah, they was big. All across the board. Yeah. Fast. Yeah, they were small. They was, they was, <laughs> it was a different level what of fast. 33 16. Yeah. Right. That's when yeah. the kids, the kids had so much fun that night. Yeah. That's when oh, I man, knew the trajectory so of the season was going to change. Yep. Cause they seen the potential that we had, and all we had to do was put it together for four quarters. Cause okay. they held they own. After that game, a, a, it just started rolling. School. They held they own. Okay. Like, literally. And, 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 and to let it be known, we don't duck no rep. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna call it spade a spade. We don't duck no rep. We've been bumping with everybody seven on seven, and we do get scrappy. Yep. Okay. I like that scrappy Herm, shit. LC. Yeah. Harm LCA Hollis Springs. Piranha, we Petersburg. He was out there and put a little work in the entire summer. Caroline. And yeah. how many games we lost? Zero. One. One. Like the LCA in the championship. Won the funny, man. championship. Herm, shout out to uh, Pierre Herm. He Glad invited Allen. me. Glad Allen was inviting mm -hmm. us out. Yeah. We right. don't duck no rep. That's one thing we don't. If you're going to beat us, Beat the shit out of them. Godwin. All the way. That's all we get. Okay. Uh, with, out there with us putting their work. Wow. Even Godwin. All the schools that are doing, that did pretty well was out there putting the work with us. Like, like we, could have a, we could have an off day. Somebody would call me like, yo, we got seven on seven. Say At no six o'clock today. Say no more. We come. Say no more. Kids yeah, round up. Man. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. Hopping cars. Let's go. It's about, cars, like, let's go. It's, about, wow. it's about six kids And, and I, wish you had a, uh, <laughs> I wish you had a screen to where I could show you our kids catching wreck. No, what, if you send that video mm -hmm. here, we can put it on there while we're talking. Oh, it's right. The kids got it. So we can do that. I'm telling you, I'm so talking about. Send it, send, it, send it over. Send it, yeah, today. Some things. We can put it on there. You understand? Yeah. Some yeah. things. I don't know if you heard of this guy, AJ Bird. <laughs> no, his name is AJ me. Bird. AJ Bird. He going to burn. He going to burn. He don't get the, the credit or recognition he deserves. Um, I have a lot of kids. Wide receiver. Wide receiver. Yeah. He had what this year? 1291? No. That must have been the kid that was telling me about, but I didn't ever hear his name. They yeah, 1,300, about, tw about 22 touchdowns off for it. Like, the, the kid was unstoppable. 54, 54 catches, 20 touchdowns, 1,200 yards, 40 inch three room. picks, 12 uh, PBUs, 14 tackles, two pick six. Three, six four interceptions the total. The, the year before, seven wow. kick returns. Four touchdowns, seven hundred yards receiving, almost thirteen hundred. Uh, wow. seventeen touchdowns last year. He had about seven hundred yards at least. No, he had eight last year. You know, yeah, didn't go all state for kick return, which is unheard of. You got seven touchdowns, literally, all kick returns. Yeah, understand. Yeah. That? Every time he touched the ball, <laughs> he took it to the crib against some of the it, major it was, schools. It was, it was, major. it wasn't, it was major schools. Remember, this is what we was playing her Hanover, Brian, all these, I hope these you schools. Went to the coaches. Thing and it was like, yo, my. Oh, I argue. I argue. You know, but, but they're not trying to they hit gave him the lesson, the lesson in. You know, but. uh, what, what, what year is he? He's, he's 24. He's CBA now. Man, we don't win this out there. 3.0 GPA. 3.0 GPA. You got any looks? You got any offers? Well, yeah, he got he got a couple uh Division two, Division three offers, uh some Division ones on his line. Mm hmm. But you know the transfer portal is in the way. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the it division is. twos don't really yeah. until yeah. January, yeah. stuff like that. And the whole start day, like I was, man, we went to so many camps. We went out to P Philadelphia just to go to these rival camps, and he balled out. Got got we went, to, we went to the whole next up camp. Mm -hmm. Got called to Georgia, balled out out there. And then we like, where's the stars, man? He did better than half these kids. That's Supposed to be four, five star guys, but yeah, we've had kids that sat in these chairs that y'all sitting there, and we've had Deuce Edwards and all those mm -hmm. guys. Kids said, "Look, I know these five star kids and all that other stuff, but they ain't with you, you know." They yeah. really not. Yeah, they be some I'm cut. telling you, he went down to Georgia. I mean, he even was a part of that whole Tory Smith seven on seven. Yep. He Level was going against guys that were five star and was doing them crazy. Like his film show speaks for itself. I'm like, that's supposed to be a five star <clears throat> corner, but he out here ball headed him like it's easy. So what? What's the reason y'all think that that? What? What? Is, what? In y'all opinion, why do you think that is? It's probably uh relationships. Coach from Malaysia, I'm fairly a new head coach. So I got a kid, Leontay Olahi, 
Who's at William and Mary? Yep. You know, on scholarship. And he's about to start. He already about to, after you know, a year. So I gotta, you know, build a rapport. Like, hey, all my kids is uh, going to produce when they get to your program. To school. Literally, so that's what it's about. You know, uh, like literally every kid I already went off last year is already getting reps as freshmen and about to start. Uh, Kimari. It's already getting reps at running back at uh, Virginia State. And the kid is doing – he's being dominant. And, see, those are the things that you guys did speak on it because, again, again, like I said, I just try to use my my platform or whatever so people can know these things. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like so. the receiver, he said. Like he, he just started his last game, and he's a redshirt freshman getting that, that opportunity to start, and they want him to start next year. So it's like that's a great feeling as a receiver's coach. Like, man – He's about to go in and have three years to just and, take over the program. And let's talk about how we get these kids with little to no experience. Yeah. Little to no experience and we develop them. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to take them away. And that, that, they can't because they loyal. you. Okay. We, we develop. Yeah. And that's a word that you don't really hear everybody take. Yeah, we, we already made. We mm. develop A.J. Bird. Little <laughs> to no experience. Kid, I didn't even know he was a my quarterback. Player. You heard of him, Anthony Tony Allen. Allen. No. Over fifty, what? No. Fifty two hundred yards. Six hundred total. Uh, what? Sixty five touchdowns. I, Thirteen honest, picks. I am guilty. I am guilty. I have not. I, I I I know. The only time I was supposed to really go to the game was the night that y'all played TJ. Right. Mm -hmm. And that was a late. Night work for me, and I was Man. just like, they said, catch it on the network, and that's when I watched the game. Right. That kid yeah. is a stud. Like uh, Tony Allen, uh, 6'1, 185, uh, gym rat, film rat, great parents. Yeah. Coachable. Very coachable. coachable. You could yell at him, you could get in his ass, he's still gonna respond. He's still gonna go out there and yeah, give it all. Shout out to hoes. Coach. <laughs> Shout out to Coach. Don't no, know. No. Yeah, Shout out yeah to coach. he done. Yeah, um, Tony Tony Island is definitely one of those ones that I've – you don't get a, a kid that wants to do everything you ask him to do every year. Okay. It, you might get one one year, then five years later, then two years later. Right. It's never one that's there for a long period of time, and I'm definitely gracious that I had Tony for these last two years. I've had some before him mm -hmm. uh, that went on to play college or uh, still playing maybe flag right now or semi-pro. But him and Ajay and Ivy Bird, um, I gave those guys their flowers after that last game, even though we did lose. But I wanted them to understand, hey, you guys put in that work, and it really showed this whole season. So um, we did. We had a practice, just just a small reminder. We had a practice one day, and just doing planks. It was like this. Uh, Tony was going against a lineman. They was oh. they was planking for like thirty minutes, just to just not to fall because they they who wants to be that who wants to be the winner of that and. I think Tony won the team that day because he was the last one standing. The last one standing. I think he won everybody's support, everybody's encouragement. And when he messes up, they're going to lift him up. That brought that team together right then. Mm. From all the throwing up that we had on video from just preseason. Okay. We were playing that throughout the season. Yeah, We knew things that we were taking, to, taking across our head because we felt we needed to put more pieces together. You know, when I knew we was going to be special – Nigel, Gene, we ran through all the projects. Literally. Yeah. No yeah, shirt. I was running with them. Like, 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 I'm driving. You know, look at me. I'm driving. <laughs> I'm driving. I'm dying. Wait a minute. I'm no, driving. On a project. Saturday morning. We ran through the project. I want to fight him after that, oh, man. What, what, what did y'all start at? Woke up a fan We started at Armstrong. We went around Creighton. We went through Church Hill. Not all the projects. But we went around. We started at Armstrong. Made that left, ran through Fairfield, yeah, then ran in front of Woodville. Yeah, I'm gonna send you that what? photo. Ran too. across Nine Mile. We ended up in Churchill by the fire station. Doing push ups. Then made that right. Then we yeah. ran down 25th Street, made it back through Fairfield on the way back to Armstrong. Doing wow. push ups. Stopping, doing, doing, stop doing, doing push ups. Stopping, doing push ups. It's this little kid, we call him Meatball. Yeah. I'm like, bro, stop. Get in the car. Man, this Get is in the car. Man. <laughs> Right there, that day we had like Took all the the rail and all that stuff. Yeah, he would yeah, not stop. To my phone. I got you, man. Yeah, eight zero four six one five. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna give it to him. Yeah, we doing that Mike Jones thing. Too. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But that's how I knew. That's when I knew we was gonna be special. Even the big yeah, guys was like, man. I'm not stopping. 
Mm-hmm. But and that's like, what we've seen the community stop. start oh, coming coach, together. You know, you're tired. Fam- uh, parents and others just community honking the horn, honking cheering the, the horn. kids on when they running past, cheering for them, clapping. And we've seen, hey, okay, they supporting us now. You got police they, see, officers. The police, always the police officers out there. Alumni backing. They always have yeah, They definitely did. <laughs> We're going to get another uh, the alumni. We're going to get into that. They did something real special for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, man. It's like, hey, yeah. man. Because even the coaches, the coaches are working out with them. We we, we, mm-hmm. we literally was there with them. I go loud, but passed see, That's out. what I'm saying. This is, we, we, the Trinity coach was in on here. Wally and them was in here talking yeah. about the same thing at 5 o'clock in the morning stuff. So this is what I'm saying. See, we don't hear that. And those are the things that we need to put. No, like I said, you make sure you give me that because we're going to put that on here too. That's yeah. It's important, man. Because they don't see stuff like this. That's, that's not normal. Right. That's not normal. You hear about that in the one comma, two comma areas, mm-hmm. but you don't really see that anymore. Cause and you know, some of the kids was nervous. I'm like, man, yeah. we out here doing something positive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I don't man. care about no project you from. Man. I remember it was it was funny for us walking through Woodville, walk fast right. Woodville, and trying to get over to Armstrong, the, right. the old mm-hmm. Armstrong. Right. Let's just say that. Mm-hmm. Ain't care about none of that. We gonna we gonna do this thing the right way. Positivity, you know. That that's dope, man. That, I, I, man, I again, I'm late to the party, man. But I'm here. Sorry, now. it's all I'm, good. I'm, I'm here now. We good. So after after that, okay, after the was it the Henrico game? Who else did y'all going to? Okay. Friendship. Friendship after friendship, then after what? What we had uh, at the friendship. Yeah. I got you. I'm about to say, don't worry about it. Who? I'm about to say, we can check yeah. right quick. You know what I'm getting into. I'm just going straight to, we're going to the TJ <laughs> yeah, game, man. I love that. We, we don't want to care about that. What happened to that first TJ game? Let's, okay. let's talk about that. Let's, let's get, get to that. Let's get to it. The first TJ game. First the TJ game. Saw. At Lee. Oh yeah, at least. I mean, okay. We don't want to talk about at least. <laughs> yeah, they cool <laughs> people. After that, they right? cool though. We they like cool them. Their coach is great. He's a yeah, great I love guy. Coach Gray. Yeah, they shout out to them, but yeah. we ain't here. We ain't here to talk about at least. Yeah, so the first TJ game. We both got good records. Uh, so I did a video at school to get all the kids, teachers, uh, staff involved. Like, hey, everybody wear all black this Friday. Hey, y'all look good out there. Versus TJ, right? They co- wise. They coaches hit me up like, hey, we wear dark. I'm like, y'all got black jerseys? Because black don't look like red. I'm like, y'all got black. He's like, we wear dark. Cool. So I, I I sucked it up. I took it. Whatever. Because they were the home team. Right? They was the home team. Right. We wore white and blue. You know. We driving the football, driving the football. We made a bonehead mistake. Yes, After that, the kid caught an interception. Number took it all the way down to the 10. <laughs> mm-hmm. All the way down to the 10. Took him like five plays to get in. The very next kickoff, pooch kick. They get it back. Hit the floor. Like Get it back. Of, All this happened uh, within two minutes, three minutes like of the uh, half. Now. It was about to be halftime. So they punched it in after that. I'm like, damn. Yeah. I know how this is going to go. They took the momentum into halftime. And they, we got the ball back. They didn't score. Mm-hmm. Did they punch it in right after that? Nah. No, Long story short, that. they beat us 28-12. You know, they got the uh, band, we some head buses. This is that hubby feel, right? Yeah, they got the band, we some head buses, kids trolling on the net. Rolling like crazy. Coaches man. said, can I curse? <laughs> Coaches said, fuck that blackout. All that with the Tupac emoji, the Tupac meme. All that. I, kids was furious. Okay. What's my motto? You made your bet. Laying it. Okay. We're going to see him again if yeah. the brackets play out. I was literally preaching yeah. that the, the entire time. You know, I was to get them kids real back, back in. And, and this crying. is an undefeated TJ team. The yes, undefeated yeah. TJ. This, man, I'm talking about they we was crying. Two, they were pissed two? off. They, they thought the world was coming to an end. I'm like, man, the season, we hey, still got plenty of time. They, they put me on a meme next to Malcolm X. Yeah. And Martin Luther, Martin Luther King. King saying they was great leaders, but they died. Yeah, stuff like they that. Left Coach Pruitt was a great leader of young men. And we, left we left his ass at Hovey Field. Yep. I'm laughing. I don't care. I'm, if To know me is to know I'm a big jokester. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I come from a, a, a family of jokes. I don't care. Yeah. Nothing. I got thick skin. Say what you want. So they put a meme up. A and meme. This is on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We got it all. They coaches reposted it. 
I ain't say nothing to him. I'm like, whatever. Okay. You got nothing? Because I'm going to get mine. Okay. I said, bro, I, like I kept telling the kids, I said, man, the best feeling in the world is to beat your rivals in playoffs and take them out the playoffs. That that, was, that feeling <clears throat> hits different. I was so pissed. So y'all just knew that y'all had a chance if y'all can't run the table, y'all can see them again in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, after that game, we scored almost 200 points in three games. Yep. Yeah. That that fueled us because every we game better. we played after that, we blew everybody out 50, 50 points or higher. Wow. We yeah, got that, better. That was, that's what the talk was going on at that time. It was like, mm -hmm. okay, man, Armstrong doing this, Armstrong doing that. So we it was got like, better. okay. So y'all was really motivated by pride and like, we going we gonna to oh, see them yeah. again. We got better. We, we got felt better. that. I don't know we what felt it was. That that, that that momentum change before halftime was the the way the way we lost. Okay, and we yep. felt if we can get over that hump, well, we can get through a down part of the game and get through it. Mm -hmm. We we were gonna be okay. We were gonna win the next time. We okay. got better. We've been changing our whole mentality. <laughs> we got better. So and but we let's... have a key player that game too. Oh yeah, shout couple... out to Marvin Banks. <clears throat> Came back yeah. a couple of injuries before that. Game. He ain't played all year. He had a dislocated elbow. Kid is big, man. He make us look small. <laughs> <laughs> he what year is he? He's a kid. Big, big part of the program, right? So let let let's fast forward. Okay, all right. Let's, let's do that. I'm so pissed. I'm pissed. Like we preparing for William Monroe, but I'm still preparing for TJ. Yeah, this man calling me like, yo, man, you see that TJ? I'm like, coach, we on William Monroe? He's like, I know, bro. I'm like, I'm going to focus on TJ. Because I wasn't worried about William Monroe because I ran that office in high school. Okay. Practice with no football, assignment football, line assignment. They from where? I'm like, from well, North. Line. From North. No, no, okay. Every game we played kind of prepared us for them because Manassas, Mechanicsville, mm -hmm. and William Monroe ran the same stuff, similar Top offense, so we were like, "All right, we gonna stop this." And once we stopped, the Nationals was prepared for those other, mm -hmm. other games because honestly, nobody could really hang with us on the past game. Mm -hmm. So we was we focused on the the, the running. So he was already prepared. I'm like, man, we let's running see. by people in the playoffs. Uh, we beat them what 52 13? Yeah, 52 mm -hmm. 14. Oh, two, yeah, 13. Next on the clock, TJ. Oh, here we ain't go. Ain't say a damn thing, coach. Oh, we. We so this is quiet. interesting. So ain't, this ain't whole week, a, so this whole week, y'all preparing for this, right? Give us, give us the whole load. Look, I knew. I knew because they played the same way all oh, yeah, I'm breaking down film. I'm like, I'm pissed I ever lost to these guys. Ever. I'm watching the film. They running the same thing, same thing, everything to their sideline. Okay. I'm calling coach. I'm like, yo, I got it figured out. Let's take, get me out of week one, get me out of round one, and I'm gonna do this. Listen, he trusted me, and I got him out of round. I said, man, listen, he trusted me with TJ. He didn't bother me. He didn't say nothing. He was like, yeah, I know you got it. Cause when I said I was watching more from him, I think I was watching more from anybody. I was like, man, I know all their weaknesses. I know who's injured. I know everything. Like, no sleep, no nothing. Just focus, focus, focus. Cause I wasn't trying to lose that game at all. Like, I feel like offense, if we would have scored, it would have been a different game. And the offense plays a big part. So, let's fast forward. We didn't have a bad practice at all that week. All week Mind all. you, they tried to have a... Uh, Probably had a perfect they, practice all week. They tried to have a, uh, what is it, a middle school uh, championship track game while we was practicing on our field. Okay. You feel me? We ain't let that distract us. And what was it that they tried to do a... What's the thing they was trying to do? The little hall the gym. Yeah. In the, uh, when they try to have, you know, <clears throat> it was a bunch rally. of distractions. We were just trying to hit that distraction. They wanted to do a pet rally. Pet rally, there you go. That's she was, was like, no. We don't need it. We ain't winning nothing yet. I'm like, all right, we don't need it. Because when the kids do pet rally, they get distracted. That's what happened to him right now. Right. Big distraction. So, you remember the all black situation the first time? Right. I ain't telling them I went all black <laughs> at all. We in the gym, right at the school. Shout out to her. She feed us every weekend. She feed us every Friday night. We ate what? Jimmy John's? Yeah. We had a light. Oh, light. Wow, you good. <laughs> we had a light meal. Light meal. <laughs> we doing yoga, stretching, tennis ball, rubbing our feet. Okay. We getting ready. 10 minutes before we leave, I'm like, yo, get fully dressed. Cleats, shoulder pads, helmet, strap up. We get there about what? 6.30? 6.30. What was this game at? Holy Field. Where they left me at? 
Okay. Oh, that's right. Where they left. Where they left me at. Yeah, you left Shout out to TJ. That was funny. Shout but y'all left me at. Y'all left the band at. So. Y'all left the band with Marlon King and them. But we fully dressed. Buses pull up. I'm like, yo, let's play something different. <laughs> pull out the Eminem. I'm like, Eminem, lose yourself. Oh, okay. So we walking from the bus. We pulling around the corner. All mm, black. Mm, mm, mm. They ain't dressed. They over there fooling around, doing whatever they do, stretching. Oh, all all that. <laughs> I walked in the uh, security guards. That speaker ain't loud enough. I'm like, I ain't hearing that shit. Move. I ain't worried about y'all. Kids stopped at the gate. I ain't even tell them to stop. I'm like, they stopped at the gate just giving them the death stare. They coach looked like he wanted to swing on me. Yeah, because he kept it black. He said, hey, that like I spoke to their coaches. Man, I, I'm cool with two of their coaches. Mm -hmm. He said he felt it was disrespectful. I'm like, boy, it's playoff football. This is football. I don't give a damn about no color. I'm here to disrespect you and win. Lined it up. First drive, punched him in the mouth. Mm. Pound it, pound it, pound it. And we, and we punched him in the mouth with a formation that they previously stopped. And we came back. Tougher with that same formation that punched them in the mouth. Mm. Next drive, we stop them because we knew what they was doing the whole game. Mm -hmm. Stop them. Punch them in the mouth. Again. Body yeah. language down yeah. like this. I start to argue. They start, you're like, yeah, we got, we, I think we got them. But mental was, was already done shifted. These two, my witness, I'm like, yo, pop pass this week. Tight and pop pass. He, he liked to sleep. He liked to see plays. Because they safety like was that. running to AJ Bird. Okay. They was man to man. It was, they I'm was cover about one. On the hash. He was to the point. He was double teaming him is so bad. It's like they had the corner linebacker sitting slightly over here. They had the they were so afraid of him. They had it was like trying to just basically watch double him. him, whatever. I'm like, pop pass. He ain't wanna run it. <laughs> I'm like, run it now. Pop pass. Six. Touchdown. Twenty zip before half. Mm -hmm. Can't say nothing after that. Start crying. You know what I'm saying? Now it's about ball control. It's about time management. Right. We could have. I, I promise you, we could have put over forty points on them guys. I ain't gonna lie, they hated me that day. I'm talking about the entire time I'm on my side. I'm gonna send you this catch. AJ Bird made over two guys. Literally. In this game. In this game. Okay. Did it tw not once, but twice. Man, you got your cutout for you tomorrow, man. It's not once. I'm gonna send you this video. <laughs> Toe tapping. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna send you this video. I'm big on social media about advocating for my guys to get recruited. He definitely does that. Yes. I ain't, I love all these kids, all of them. Even TJ, them guys reach out to me to this day. Watch my highlight. Let me know what I need to fix. You know what I'm saying? So it's no hatred. So after the game, you know, I'm like, oh, sh okay, they let the jokes to win. Okay, so now <laughs> they there let we the, go. They let the guy win. <laughs> they let us win. He played that song. <laughs> They let the jokes go in. So, so I don't know how to make a meme, but let's call it space. I, I already said, okay, so this this is the, the Charles Scott thing where people get off the, you know, mm -hmm. field and get on the gram or whatever you did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a rivalry. I ain't beat these people. The last time Armstrong beat TJ was eight years. Eight years ago. <laughs> I ain't never and beat again, these people. The and it's always been about. It's about been six. that long? Yeah. yeah. And, and we got to hear this. Time at the time. Yeah. Y'all suck. Y'all ass. Y'all poor. Y'all poor. Y'all like, don't get no attention. But like I said, the difference is was in the playoffs doing it. So you undefeated. It's so much sweeter. Yeah. It's so much I'll be sweeter. Right? I'm it. sending you home. Yes. They were undefeated. You undefeated. <laughs> you undefeated parents in the crowd. Quiet. What was the lady talking about? They dumped the water on me. I ain't even feel it. She talking about That's how hype I was. Said, said the kid, our kids aren't human. Shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, Armstrong was out here doing Space Jam moves. I mean, arms like extending six feet to catch balls and stuff. They are not human. I'm sorry. It, we should play a, a, a real human team because these people are not human. Sorry. they not real. What is these yeah. type of kids? <laughs> right, so what? we destroyed them. So now it's, it, it's, it's time for bragging rights. Oh, here we go. Kids making memes. We in the group chat. I'm like, go ahead, make these memes, whatever. I'm going to repost it. Too. But the older TJ graduates was texting the younger kids who won. Okay. So I made a post like, dear TJ gra graduates, please let my young boys have it. 
We whooped y'all ass when it mattered the most. TJ do this little SOS sign. I was like, SOS out. I mean, they season over. Mm -hmm. A parent hit me up. I'm TJ, please explain what this means. I'm like, man. <laughs> First of all, I'm a man. Uh, I'm not a man. I said it says ma'am. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, this is about bragging rights. This is football. She was like, you don't feel like this is a little bit disrespectful? I said, no, we not go. at all. I said, no, not at all. And this is one of the parents of one of the kids who the biggest troll on their team. Yep. I sent her a picture of her son doing exactly what we doing. Oh, my son is poor. We've been through a lot. Da 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 da. I said, ma'am, do you know who you uh playing against? The same thing. Mm -hmm. He's in the IB program. I was like, okay, good. I like his game. I even commented on before him. Before him, I'm like, yo, you a dog. I like your game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that went on. My biggest problem is. It's cool when they do it. You know how that song go. But it's well, a problem we when we do it. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? They saying, oh, it's a coach reposting. I'm like, yeah, coach reposted the Malcolm X joint. Right. Nobody but said But I anything. didn't say nothing. I don't care. Do it. So can you tell it can you go on record and say which you actually sent? Which one? About what got you led to the suspension? Five posts. Huh? Five posts. Five posts. It was one with the dear TJ graduate, mm -hmm. the one with the uh, Ricky from Boys and Men. One of their guys was hurt on the ground. Oh, we, Boys in the Hood. Yeah, Boys, boys in the Hood. Sorry, not oh, Boys yeah. and Men. But we kept Ricky in it for that purpose. But it looked like he tripped Ricky up. The parents said, oh, don't you think that's a bit serious? That was egregious part of the movie when the kid got shot. I'm like, ma'am, he's tripping Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and this is the same kid who posted me as well, RJ. I like RJ. Very, very talented kid, ninth grader. Big future. You know what I mean? So that, dear TJ graduates, <laughs> when AJ caught the ball over two people. Mm -hmm. uh, what else was it? You did one that said all jokes aside. Oh, I did a, a post that said all jokes aside, all trolling aside. Can we say the city st stood on business? Yeah. And you so not? TJ Armstrong both had a history making season. Right. They didn't say anything about that. This on Saturday. And if coaches, if TJ coaches, right, I have two very good friends mm -hmm. on their team. Mm -hmm. I mean on their coaching staff. If your coach felt the way, holler at me. Right. Why couldn't he tell me? Because I'd be damned if I let my parents destroy your history. So the parent, so the parent didn't like it. So parents. The parents didn't like it. So the parents reported it. Yeah. To whom? That provides what you know. Yeah, that's the problem. To, to, to the school, to the superintendent, everywhere. Okay. So when were you contacted in regards to what happened? Monday morning. Monday, yeah. Ms. Shaw and the counseling department, they throw in a brunch for the kid. Okay. Right before the brunch, Pruitt come to my office. The principal? Or assistant principal. Assistant principal, okay. Like, she, she's a good person, like a mother figure. Okay. So what would say? I mean, can you give us, like... Like, uh, Pruitt, you know, they don't understand bragging rights. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it was five posts that they, they highlight. So what did she say? Did she have to reprimand you or... Mm-mm. Did, oh... She told me I had to write a letter... Deactivate my social media. Mm -hmm. Take a sportsmanship class. That's what the assistant principal advised did that. you to do? Yeah. Okay. Did that. Okay. So, they go on. We still had a brunch. I'm not feeling right the whole time, but I'm, I, I, don't, I have a poker face. I don't let a lot of shit bother me. Okay. So, I don't feel right. Next day, four, like, four period, that's about three o'clock in the afternoon. On Tuesday. Tuesday. And this is the week of holiday week, Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Cancel my flight home because I been booked it weeks ago, not knowing the schedule of the playoffs or anything like that. Okay. Just going to see family. Cancel my flight and everything. Get in there. You can't coach this week. And this comes from who? Principal. The principal. 
So now the principal is involved and tell you you can't coach. Mm-hmm. What was your response? Nothing. Because you kind of figured it already. Yeah. I'm like, I, 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 I trust these guys. So you're going to the regional championship. Mm-hmm. First time in school history as far as I know of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is. And the principal tells you that you can't coach. And yeah. you, were, you were okay with that. Not because you didn't have any trust in your coaching staff. I mean, I mean, just you was okay with that. Because I would have been pissed. Mm-hmm. Poker face, I'm pissed. Mm-hmm. So after that, so now I, I've heard rumors, but mm-hmm. I kind of wanted to get it from you that. What rumors you heard? Well, just the appeals process. The appeals process? Right. It wasn't an appeals process. So there was never an appeals process. Oh. See, okay. Word I got was that I guess the alumni was, you know, upset and they was going to make some calls. Right. They did that. And, and stuff calls. like this. Now, okay, this is how I got it. Mm-hmm. That I guess they felt like the city withheld information. Oh, that, I'm sorry, not the city. The school board held with mm-hmm. information. So instead of addressing it when it happened, they waited until Tuesday, well, Wednesday is what I got, Strategic. which was the last day of the school yeah. week. So, of course, if you tried to appeal it, you couldn't appeal it because... Strategic. Strategically. Right. So the school was out. So that is that true? Yeah. Okay. So what I got was that call was that Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday, Wednesday, and they said, hey, no, they're going to, I guess, do a kind of emergency hearing or whatever. I guess the alumni got involved, trying to get you a hearing. So, and from what I was told, that it was, they they thought that it was going to be overturned so you could coach. But you're saying that you never got a hearing at all. No. <laughs> I can't coach over uh, a rivalry, over bragging rights. If y'all want us to stop Posting on social media, give us a trophy. Bring the East West End Bowl back, I guess. I don't know what that is, but bring it back. <laughs> you know? And it's bigger things than social media that's going on. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So let me ask you this question before, before we got to yeah, go yeah, forward. Because yeah. I, I, the people that I talked to, you know, just saying that, it was like, I said, man, what happened? That's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. And they said that it was warranted. Mm-hmm. Um, the suspension was warranted. Um, do you feel as though that were you wrong for what you did, or or do you, do you well, I, let me, let me stop? Do you have any regrets for what you did, or do you think it was wrong? I was wrong. Okay. Two wrongs don't make it right. Okay. Sometimes you got to take the higher road. Mm-hmm. You know. So I do apologize to all parties affected. But to know me is to know that I love each and every one of these kids the same. Mm-hmm. Like, you can ask their coaches last year. Isaiah Johnson, Isaiah Johnson, mm-hmm. got him his first offer. Because I love football that much. Yeah, like I said, I'm sitting here and I've only known you for what about, about an hour or so or mm-hmm. more. And I don't get, like, the, yeah. you know, like it was some type of bad malice or any no, intent. But all, all, all I had to say is... It, if they coaches had a problem, I'm one call away. I would have took the post down. So you think it was kind of per- – do you feel like it was personal that because they lost the game, so they felt like it was some type of get back? Do any of y'all feel that way? Man, like, not just that. Shit. I feel like they could have went about it so differently about half the stuff. They could have just waited till after the play. My thing is if you said it's the first time our RPS school is doing something this big – Wait till after. Even if you suspend it for the first two games of next year, I don't have a problem with that or something else, but wait till after. Let us do more because I feel like that affected the kids too because the kids wasn't, you know, they used so to help them around. my thing is this. When he called me and told me, yeah, I when I was mad. after he found out, my level of um, anger was at a whole nother level because – what they don't, whoever it was that did, whoever it was that did it, what you don't realize is 
you have taken for a lot of these boys, the male, the only male father figure or positive male role model that a lot of these kids have had for the past four Mm -hmm. years plus. Mm -hmm. You have robbed them of something that they worked hard for. These kids worked hard. Like they said, they got them when they had little to no experience playing football and you let them get to this point and you rob them of that that was my thing because once he called me and to, I was still at the school when he called me I walked in there and I seen a look on my kids faces mm-hmm. and I was angry was I not yeah, cause it was- like how can you do that to them and the thing is the it's this whole thing of where well, I didn't know we didn't know what was post prior to we played teams where before the game or after the game, they all changed their profile and put on shit mm-hmm. for all of our kids. We had TJ made <coughs> memes where it had one of our kids look like he was laid in the street. Mm-hmm. Another one looked like he was getting handcuffed, bully and all of this other stuff. So my thing is this win gracefully, lose gracefully. Right. Because I heard that you guys, it's been going on, and Armstrong community said nothing. They, they let it go. Yeah. It was just like. And, and, and that's my thing. I don't care who it is. Mm-hmm. I will argue. I will raise hell. I will do it. Because you're robbing these kids of something that they worked really, really hard for and earned. I've witnessed it. I've seen it. I've been a part of history being made. And, and, and I'm going to give a huge shout out to the Armstrong Kennedy alumni. Yeah. Absolutely. The day of Thanksgiving, Mr. Brooks and and Coach Pearl reached out to me saying, I want y'all to practice in front of alumni Thursday morning. We're going to fry fish. I heard about that. There was over 100 people out there. I heard about that. People praying over the kids, people giving them pep talks. They eating good. Just putting on a, a nice little 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 turkey bowl after that. Got to see some other turkey bowl. Now you're planning the turkey bowl. Yeah. You yeah. know, so shout out to them. Shout out to my other boy, uh, Deron Battle. He made a Facebook post saying it's BS. You know, he's a, he's a strong advocate for the Armstrong community. I just want to say I appreciate you, bro. You know what I mean? And so. just making that full circle, a lot of our kids felt that on that Thanksgiving day, practicing on that field, bum back a lot of memories for them because yeah, that's right. where they started at. Right. And During they COVID. Seen, Dog hey, was man, there. we were did, we were small kids. Now we're getting ready to play for this regional championship on the field we started at. So that I think that brung, even though we did lose, I I, I take my L's. We did lose, man, but we, we go that, that, that team brung them. That that was some of those situations that were outside of football brung our team closer. Yeah. Not just playing in the game and winning the game. No, the the life experiences that they got bro. together, the coming together, the moments where. Bro, I know you tired. You done threw up. Come on, keep running. Ah, coach is killing us today. He's making us run another mile. We put those kids through so much that the outcome they seen and they believe like, oh, this is supposed to work. Mm-hmm. So they know next year, oh, we got to go harder because we want to go further. They already, we already trying to put that stepping stone in place. Man, let me tell you, I FaceTime them kids at halftime. They look like little dogs. Everybody it was like yeah. <laughs> four rows. They like, wow. Do this, adjust, we making adjustments, slide over on this play, da 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 da. They looking like. Then they came out there here on fire. It was cold that night up there too, mm-hmm. yes, it was. I wouldn't know. Yeah. You know it was a whole different cold up there in Northern Virginia, man. Yeah, it was cold. I still I think know. what you call it was a little colder. Like like it was raining up there. And the thing was, the NFHS was what? Six minutes slow? Mm-hmm. Oh, of course you know. So that. I had to FaceTime her. She in the stand. She had to show me. After defense get off the field, who I call? Nigel. Nigel on there like, coach said this. Coach said that. The ref's like, get back, get back. You can't be on the phone. Yeah. We now, make, I, I, wonder, I was wondering how that worked too. Yeah, they was telling them to, to back up with the phone. So I was jumping from her to him because my NFHS was so behind. Right. I'm making adjustments. That's five minutes old. All that money they charge and they can't get it right. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So, and then let's talk about the controversial call. Oh yeah, because I I was following Puka. Like I said, I I work Thursday nights and overnight, so I got to see the comments that Puka was making. He was Coach Puka from um, Yeah, yeah. Shout out to He was he was like. Armstrong is getting robbed, man. We're just man, going off was. about it. I was like, <laughs> uh oh, let me get in here and see what's going on. Can you give us some details, man, because 
I from what I was told I, I, before y'all go, one of um, a friend of mine, um, he was an alumni of Kennedy, and he lives out in Northern Virginia. And he said, man, why you ain't tell me? And I said, man, that week it was crazy for me. I forgot. He said, look, and this is what he said. I ain't going to even tell who it is, but he was like, look, when you go out to Brinsville, he says it's different out there. He said, and, and, and this is, he quote, he was like, it's Trump country. Mm. He said, so you got to. You know what I mean? You gotta carry something different out there, man. Okay? So mm -hmm. he said, he said, had I known, I'd have been prepared, but I didn't know. He said, but you know, I would have went and represented, but that's how I describe it. I don't know if that's what y'all felt, but Oh, uh, it was a lot of I ain't gonna lie, it was a lot of disrespect. One, while we practicing, we getting our guys ready, doing our walkthrough and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They start flickering the lights, and then them guys they go do a circle right in front of our practice. Yeah. While we do a lot of pregame warm up. Pre-game warm up. So you know, you you go over your plays, you walk walking through your stuff before the game gets ready. The obviously yeah. team came and had a full circle right in front of our stuff. I ain't gonna lie, I snapped. I was about to get ready. They had That's supposed to be on one side. Of the yeah, right. cost the fifty. They yeah. turn the lights off. Boom. Turn the lights, turn the lights off. off and everything. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, start flickering the lights. Come to our side of the field. I love that. The referees stopping us. And I'm like, hold on. I don't think you understand. They're on our side of the field while we're practicing. Ain't the referees insane. They do nothing. <laughs> Looked at us. But we look at we it. We definitely got to this, this is football. Up, yeah, <laughs> oh, this is it? football. You this still got to win. Do that every time. You got to win. This is football. Right, right. But I'm not mad at that at all. Do it every time. Not at all, but we told our kids from jump. We going on the road. We got to win by fourteen. and We got to smash because gotcha, if we don't, you don't, something's going to something's going to happen. Right. You have to take advantage and win by fourteen. We had an opportunity to get up by fourteen. Right. Got but called back. Plays being called back. That, that, like that, that, that's the kid, AJ saying. Bird, number twenty one, one on one. He he ball set up about to get ready to take it to the crib. Get to flag, throw for say push it off. Basically pass it first on the offense. And we're looking like, who was the pass interference? The kid was nowhere near the Dude, ball. Nobody didn't even. No, not, not nobody, nothing. He's just running with him, and he just goes up and gets oh. him over top of his head. They break, they break that back. Every time we had a big play, it got brought back. Quarterback scrambling to the end zone. Just went high school refs. <laughs> <laughs> he put the ball over the pylon. Despite steps out of bounds. They threw a drops flag it, already. Drops it. They call it touchback. But they threw a flag already for holding. They been through a flag for holding. So regardless, the play was supposed to stop. So when the quarterback starts seeing it, he's put the ball through, but he was slowing down already. So if he throws it down, the ball is already for a flag. They should already be enacting that flag and bring the ball back. It's like, nah, uh, touchback. And then they said so it's a fumble in the end zone. It's like, well, but, but it's a flag. How but, could but you, you still got to take care of the ball. But at the same time, he was out of bounds, and the ball was over the pylon. Literally. In his possession. They said touchback. They gave them the ball. And that happened on their sideline. And they're I'm, filming on their sideline. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm watching on her view on FaceTime the last play with uh, Tony thought to uh, AJ Bird for 94 Literally. yards. What am I doing? Screaming. Oh, my God. We touchdown. did it. Rolled down, threw a nice no, touchdown we did pass it. over everybody. God. I think it was 84 yards. 94. 94. 94. I'm like, yo, yeah. we 94. did it. We did it. <laughs> game was over. It was 28-21. Right there, that would have solidified the game. Bring it back. And, and, and see, this and, and, and this is where some guys was talking about this part, right? Y'all was up. Yeah. What happened from that? But first of all, who was coaching it? Who was the interim coach? Uh, you okay, you know, because <laughs> they we need to know because we, we, we I, I, I was I was watching this other podcast and they was talking about it, and I was like, okay, I, I was listening to it, they was kind of giving mm -hmm. their breakdown of it. So I need you to kind of talk about, I guess, taking the two points. Oh, okay, I'm Safety. gonna do it. Go on, Safety. so all right, so don't get me wrong, I mean, I did make a bad call. I don't um, think it was bad. I know. I mean, like, as far as running the ball, you know, because me, me and Coach Armin, he's my, my guy, my eye in the sky and stuff like that. We do have our little moments, but that's that, that relationship you have. And as a coach, like, yo, no, you think you should run this? No, no, this, this. But, you know, I called a, 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 a basically a counter play mm -hmm. out of the play. My running back, you know, sometimes the kids don't know to go down, take the, take the L. He kept pushing. They pushed us way back. They give us the because he was still pu pumping his feet. Right. Usually, you don't you don't push a kid way back, but it did. And then right after that, we got a holding call, so that put us so far back. 
So, like I said, we ended up throwing up the uh, the touchdown. They took that right back. Mm -hmm. And then from there, basically, the play was done. I'm like, we are on our own goal line to the point where if we try to punt it, there's a, a chance they could it, take it to the crib. Block okay. it. Block it. Right. I didn't want to get... The thing, what I, what I was thinking about was momentum. Momentum plays a really big part where you give these kids any kind of itch. Because right now, we was up on them. We had that momentum. So I was like, you know what? Man. I'm about to think smart. And I told my quarterback, I said, listen, I need you to run around a little bit. And I asked the ref, I said, can I go into the back of the end zone? That'd be two points, right? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not going to be a problem. Because you know, I ain't trying to hit no, oh, that's a touchdown for them type stuff. Right. So I made sure. I said, all right, this is what you're going to do. Run around a little bit. And then uh, go, step right back in the end zone. You know, they thought it was a win for them because they was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we got we got this. I said, cool. So now you're going to put us at a, at a point where we could punt it because the defense, I ain't going to lie, the defense is on fire. They will stop them. So you, you trust what you defense. There you mm -hmm. go. I promise you because it was that, it was right after the halftime, they was putting, like, they was getting them stops and they was allowing us to score. So we were scoring. That put us ahead because we was making them stops. I said, like, I trust my defense. I don't got a problem with that. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we put, we, we got it, we, uh, we, Kicked it off, and like I said, I, I, from there I just let the defense do what they had to do because I trusted them. Mm. You know what I mean? It, I, there was no, there was nothing different about it. You know what I mean? At the day, you got to trust your defense, you got to trust your coaches. We game plan for a reason. Mm. I did my part. I need you to do yours. That's that's all. It, all it really was, and that's the only reason why I gave them two points. What would you have done? No, well, the thing about it is, I can't say because I, I I can't even tell you what I would have done. But just talking to the people that I talked to, nobody had a problem with what you did. Mm -hmm. They was like they thought it was a, a actually a, a, a great strategy of what you was doing. Mm -hmm. So nobody called and said, "Hey man, that was stupid. I wouldn't have did that." Because like I said again, I'm I'm on the basketball side, so I can't talk the football mm -hmm. lingo with y'all. So I'm not going to even try to. Because it's like if we had a field goal kicker. Then I know Coach brought up a few strategies. He's like, man, we should just let them have it. We had a better offense. We could have we drawn the ball on the field. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, we could have kicked the field goal and got to set that point. We would have clutched it. Mm -hmm. But we didn't really have a, you know, we had right, uh, Gerald Williams. We have a kicker. Right. You know what I mean? We had That's a little. They said y'all hadn't kicked the ball at all during the year. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Because kind of it was iffy. At times we had a kicker, then we, we didn't have a kicker. Then the, mm -hmm. the, it's one of those games, what's on the line? And you know what, you know, I was like, like I said, this came down to one of those game time decisions, you know what I mean? But it would never have had to come to those game time decisions if a lot of these plays wasn't taken back. Because, again, if once we scored that play, game it over. was no holding. It was game, game over. over. We was up by two touchdowns. So even if they – and they were running the ball. So you run it, you wasting your time. Knowing them, they would have had to air it out, which was until our Man, game plan. Mm -hmm. And we would have picked it off. We would have nailed it. Victory formation, it would have ended it. But, again, things – Flipped away, like I said, I just took, a, I, I just made a, you made a, a judgment call, a judgment call. What, like I said, I just, and then the crazy part about it, we were, it was, it was like what, ten seconds, seven seconds left. One kid slipped, literally, one kid slipped, mm -hmm. and I ended the game because he was literally on seven. All you see is him just fall. I don't know if he tripped himself or what it was, or maybe. It was this God on that side. They went down to, to yeah. That. He went down at number seven, their most clutch receiver. Because we, I was thinking it in two ways: either they're gonna quarterback is gonna run it in and clutch it himself, mm -hmm. or he's gonna give it to his best receiver, which I would do. Because I've asked him, I said, if it was up to me, I'm gonna give it to my best receiver, mm -hmm. which is number five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him clutch it. I'm gonna make sure that he gets the ball, and which we've done it multiple times. But we, we've clutched our best receiver to, to, to win the game for us. And number seven was their best guy. And when it came down to it, who he looked at? Number seven, yeah, it was a bad throw. But again, our guy fell in that, in a sense, in the game. You know what I mean? It, it, it can't have played out any better, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like I said, so much could have been done better from the ref aspect. Uh, aspect. Right, which I've, I heard. But like I said, I can't do nothing about at it. At the end of the day, we got to line it up. We got to yeah. play football. We can't leave it up to the ref. No, Sorry. right, and I, I agree with that. And like I said, I, I blame I blame myself on that you one. Can't because blame yourself. No, you could have I, 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 mean, I was going to say the same thing. I should have done better. No, as far as you're good to go. No, no you, we came you, back you, and just you, scored twenty eight. Right, exactly. You <laughs> you you, play, you played the hand that you was dealt. Yeah. Now, I talked it. Now, did y'all watch tape on this team at all during the week? Yeah. yeah. Now, from what I was told, I don't, I don't know too much about Brentsville. 
I think the starting quarterback, who's normally yeah, he, he was didn't hurt. play, was mm-hmm. injured. I think he was injured. And so you know, the things I was hearing, oh, well, the starting quarterback can't play. You know how it go. Yeah, but uh, Armstrong would have been in the game, whatever. Need, need the fact. I, I don't know. But they lied the status. Cap. Two. Number two was you heard that. we knew number two was their 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 backup guy because like I said when I said I watch film I watch for every little thing if you were not a, a backup guy coming in I, I'm gonna know who you are because I let them know who who's the guy I'm like number two is their backup mm-hmm. he's like you oh. sure you sure trust me number two is their backup in which they end up seeing number two I say they're probably gonna run a lot with him because he's not much of a thrower but we didn't want to underestimate him because he did make some good throws I'm right. gonna lie it's playoff that's at that point, you gonna bring your best, your best game, game, you know. So I couldn't be mad about it, you know. He did what he had to do. He clutched it for them, you know. what I mean, number seven made some clutch catches for them. We had him at fourth and five a few times, and well, of course, there was a few bad calls. But again, what could we do? Man, that's that's you. Because even with the, with the with the fourth and five, he bobbled the ball and it fell to the ground. But they called it. They called a pass interference on a certain play. It, it's just a few, like I said, minor mistakes. That that could have that that cost us, but well, all all through that joint, I never dropped my head. Got mm. my chin up. Like he trusted us, man. He so, knew we, we knew the game plan. We knew what, what what was at stake and what what was what we were supposed to do. You know what I mean? I got in my bag and I just started airing it out. That's honestly we are a passing that, team. That, that's what people were saying when you went when you started doing that. The moment because I, I wanted to run. But then it's like, you know what? I got to get my bag and just start airing it out. And we had way better receivers than them. It's to the point, they thought they were better than us. DB yeah, went to cover see, zero. Literally, they played no safety and all the safeties were playing us. So we just said, well, I'm going to go spread and I'm going to spread them out. And they could not cover our best receivers to the point they had to start sacrificing somebody to play over top number five. Mm-hmm. And then when they started doing that, we start hitting number two, mm-hmm. which is number two. Uh, one of my other best guys so it's like you can't cover both mm-hmm. so we just started airing them out and after that that's when we started putting points on the board because they really couldn't stop the, the passing game honestly they were not we we are naturally just a passing team we've always been a passing team well, we can run don't, don't get it twisted but we just always actually been a passing team since day one since I was being here because we could air it out if we need to that's, that's what makes our offense versatile we have everything you, you could never really game plan for us because we don't have just so little the game plan for. We will switch it up on you, and you'll see a whole new formations. Multiple offenses. <laughs> he know. You walk into the thing, it's just a board that's full of formations. He's like, oh, man, you got like 20, 30 formations. Yeah. Well, they got to stop it. That's all it is. We'll give you about one or two, you'll remember, but you're going to see something you've never seen before. I don't think, again, in the circles that I, I talk to, as far as my sources, nobody said that you did anything wrong or it was stupid. They said that you made the proper adjustments the way you start off just like anybody. We saw the 49ers yesterday start the game horribly and yeah. next thing you know, they just went bazonkers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So nobody said that. So, you know, so for me, I just said, man, you you gave it all, you, you laid it all in line. The, the cards didn't fall in your way, but like I said, you you I mean the only thing you could do was, man, is just, just go go for it. You know? So don't beat yourself up, man. It's a learning experience because you don't know where that experience, that experience is going to help you down the line. Yes, and that's yes. just how you have to look at it. You know, so, but with that being said, and I'm going to go back to you, Coach. Mm-hmm. What was the post-game speech that y'all gave to the kids? Because uh, I know everybody was disappointed. Y'all drove all that way. It's cold. You lose the game. Pretty much at the end of the, the end of the game. Well, one, it was getting all the kids together because, you know, again, a lot of these kids, this is they want to continue playing. Again, we already were had the whole situation with coach, so trying to keep them mentally in it, you know, without coach, and you know, as coaching staff, we try to do it all together. You know what I mean? So we mentally just brought them all into the the locker room, and we just, you know. But it's just, it was really kind of hard to talk. Because mm-hmm. I ain't going to lie, man. I ain't going to lie. I was weeping myself, man. Did, like, did they feel like, did, did y'all feel like that y'all was a disappointment? Like, no. 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 Like, like, no way. Like, man, y'all let the city down. <laughs> not at all. Not no, not at all. Because okay. I'm not going to lie. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. Another thing. This is something that people don't know. As soon as the clock hit zero, TJ added me to a group chat. 
Yeah, F Armstrong. They back home in Richmond. Da 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 da. I ain't screenshotted enough. I'm just like, man, y'all got it. Y'all have done enough. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. One thing I don't do is hate. Yeah. That's one thing I don't do. If TJ was in that position, it's go TJ. Keep your heads up. You get what I'm saying? If they was in that position, it's go TJ. Mm-hmm. But don't continue the, the game after y'all already took me out of the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? Did you feel like like when that clock hit zero and and I think you might hit around to it, did you feel any type of way like, damn, if I had and not saying it was nothing slightly against him, did you feel like things would have been better or you felt like that maybe you like maybe okay. hindsight twenty twenty if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't have did it, and maybe the outcome would have been different. Or and collectively, as a coaching staff, sure. y'all could have pulled it off or something. Not saying that sure. coach did that. I'm just saying. I'm just with you. I good. told him. I, I honestly said that it would have, it could have probably played out a little right. different because stuff that we don't see, he pays attention to. Because again, he's the main guy that sees stuff that we don't see. Right. And at times he'll be like, "Yo, yo, I see this right here. You need to go take a shot of that." I'm like, right. sure. Yeah, go ahead. Art, and then boom. I hear something like, oh, all right, you see that? Sometimes you see the defensive corner, like, nah, nah, I ain't there. Don't do it. Don't do it. You be like, you sure? You sure? All right, let's go. He'll switch it up. It's like, again, there's crucial times. We should have called timeouts, but we didn't. But this is something he would have seen. I'm like, nah, 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 I got to call this right now. Right. Because he knew how to manage the game because he let us do our jobs yeah. as far as offensive coordinator. He let him do his job as far as defensive coordinator. If he had to change something, he would let us know what had to be changed. Mm-hmm. He kept the kids in tune. He just focused on making sure everything stayed together. He just kept us like glue. Because trust me, man, we all black men, man. We was at each other throws at times. I ain't gonna lie. If a game going crazy, we had each other throws like fighting, arguing. Like, man, listen, I need to chill out. We need to focus mm-hmm. on what's going to get us back into this game. What could you do better? And I'm like, man, I, need to, I feel like I need to air it out. Go ahead and do what you got to do. And he, he'll, he'll give you the A-OK. Left, say no more. But again, that's he. I feel like he's the glue that kept the, the team together. The only thing I would have did different was make the proper adjustments needed early. But that's what earlier. I, exactly that's what I say. He, he would have done it. There was it. nothing else I could do. The story was real. Only thing I noticed um, from the post game speech from your original com- original question was uh, when they got back to school last year. We seen our kids cry after that loss to Caroline was like that was a disappointment cry. Mm-hmm. This cry right here was like joyful cry, meaning we gonna miss each other. We really came together and did something. They won't cry like boo hoo. They were like, bro, I can't believe like we did what we just did. Yeah. Nobody thought that they was gonna do that. Right. Nobody. But they only people that felt like that was them. Because we've been preaching that to them since March when we started lifting. Since we've been killing them. Since, we, since we started lifting, every day, y'all got to get that Caroline taste out your mouth. Caroline smacks you in the mouth. Every day, he's throwing, Caroline did this, Caroline did that. We'll Sooner or later, you're going you gonna to get you gonna get tired of hearing it. You're going to go and go do something about it. Now, our kids did something days. about it, man. That's dope, man. And see, Dr. said, these are like movie situations. Like yeah, you, you we definitely put on the movie for the stars this year. You know what I'm saying? And get back and you got the community waiting for y'all to school and, yeah, that you was know, sweet. Stuff, like, stuff like that, man. Um, that was sweet. Also, we bought what? How many fans? It was a lot of 200 them. fans, yeah? Dude, that's a, a lot. A lot. Yeah, so shout out to the staff for supporting us. I man, definitely shout came out to the community, man. Uh, man staff, up, community, the everybody. How long was the drive? Oh, two, two hours. hours. Two Eight hours. yellow buses. Yeah. yeah that was oh, a bad thing. Know. Man, my ass was hurting. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> you gotta imagine driving up there for a playoff game in football pants taped up, yeah. sitting for sitting that long. Now you gotta get a long way. Why the buses hit drive? It's a long highway drive. And it's a school bus, not a charter bus. So they ride. We You can't sleep. You you heard You trying to sleep. You trying to get comfortable. You think about the game. You locked in. Ain't no signal. You the middle of the boondocks. You're like, man, this is just yeah, everything. Yeah, because it's like you take that highway drive and it's traffic typically, and then you got to get off the highway to go where. Yeah. I, don't even, I don't even know where Brinsville is. So man, I was on two lane street for a while. Uh, wanna, it was pitch I, black. I, I just want to say I'm proud of the kids, man. Yes, I'm sir, proud of the yes, coaching sir. staff. I'm proud of the school for uh, what direction we're going. We're yeah. we going into now a that, whole no, other that, direction. That's great, man. And that's what I wanted to, to kind of point out to y'all, man. Y'all, I mean, 
Hey, man, keep your heads up high, man. Y'all got nothing to be ashamed of. It was a hell of a season. I said that with tears of joy this year, man. Yeah. Everybody so asked me, are you okay? You damn right. I'm all right. Because y'all letting them know that y'all going to see them again in the future. Yeah. It's just that, man. It's I'm history. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said we've never really won a playoff game before. So just, just doing that. Yeah, not that I can recall. At least he could say he put his name on the board that he was a That's part right. of that group that really changed the history of Armstrong. He will forever be in the part. books. Yeah, because now I think it will bring more attention and get people out mm -hmm. during the regular season yeah. to come out and support. And I know for me, knowing what I know now and just meeting you guys, I you can put me on record as saying it now. He'll tell you I definitely would do my job and definitely get out there mm -hmm. and come out there more because I'm – from the area, mm -hmm. yeah. I went to the building, <laughs> up, you know, mm -hmm. no pun intended, but you know, but no, nah, I definitely support, man. That's when y'all kind of oh. started seeing. Once I started getting the traction, I started posting stuff more. But again, we like just, I said, I just want to just give you guys just credit, man, because we again, just, it's just you. the exposure, man. Like, yeah. the more exposure, the more opportunity for these kids. You know, the more opportunity, like. Like you said, man, this opportunity for like some of the parents to really come out and help. We would love to have some team moms. We've had a few moms here and there help out and stuff, bring some food and snacks. But Sean can't do it by herself. If y'all want, come out and help, support. You know what I mean? The, the, it's not always about the money, but it goes a long way for these kids. Not, it's not us. We're not using it for ourselves. You know what I mean? We, for we the definitely kids. ain't getting a lot of it. You know what I mean? We're not that. getting a lot of it. You know what I mean? Cleats, anything helps. Helmet. That goes a long way for getting these kids. Sled, do that, Helmets. Man. You know what I mean? Uh, socks. Some of these kids don't have no socks. We got to go to a dollar, a dollar store and get some socks for these kids. Right. Uh, Alignment slid. Alignment, like, <laughs> just so so natural it, stuff. So if just, we're going to put this out there, man. Y'all okay. hear these coaches, you know, and, and um, let them know. So where can they bring this stuff to? Who do they need to contact to be able to help and try to donate anything? Y'all want to, can I put that out there? Sure. Give it me a number. Let them all know. Yeah. Email, number. Email, contact, phone um, number. So you can contact me at, oh, what's the word? No, I'm not the word. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> just do the email. Um, hey, just do the email. My email, smjames1 at vuu.edu. Okay. Yep, smjames1. Oh, okay. Or you can reach out to me at uh, J Pruitt, J-P-R-U-I-T-T -T at rvaschools.net, schools with an S, dot net. Okay. Some, can we use some of y'all social media programs? Because you know some people are slow. So can we can we DM DM? Yes, you can. Can we can we DM the coaches or you know people? You you, you know what we do? Because Twitter. Because I got hit up on Twitter. Mm -hmm. They hit me on Twitter. Which everybody got. I'm kind of like I'm, I'm more on my my that all of the VA podcast yeah. page, but then I'm over half of fifty percent on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you can hit me up on Twitter at Coach Pruitt. Fifty five zero. I'm just saying, you know, we 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 ain't going to the social media. Thing. <laughs> I, I ain't saying my Instagram. I said my my, uh, my ex, my Twitter, yeah, ex, Twitter, whatever it's called. <laughs> but it's all it, love, man. It, it, it's all love. You know what I'm saying, no, we, TJ, we don't, don't, Word. don't yeah, it's we, all love. It's all love. You know what Word. I'm saying? No, I, 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 man. First of all, man, this was this was this was really good. Yes, sir. I mean, I I didn't think. I'm a person, I'm, I'm about, I like to keep it simple, but I like yeah. detail stuff. Yeah. So that's why I've been like, people want to know. Yeah, so that's yeah. why I kinda had to go into depth and say, did they do this, did they do this? Yeah, it's time to I, put I, that I didn't go to school for journalism, but I just want to know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just won't be kind of, <laughs> well, no. It's time to put the, the rumors to bed. That's yeah, because yeah, there's it always is, rumors bro. floating and stuff yeah. like that and circulating. People want to know, mm -hmm. you know, but... Um, no, man, you guys were very open because sometimes people, this is what I tell you. And Tim, you you know this, right? How many times have we had people come on this podcast and say, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this and do this, and they get up here and they do this? They do the lights come on, they do this. <laughs> All right, let's go into it. And then they be like, well, I can't really talk about that. After you called me and you yeah. said you're going to say X, Y, and Z. I could I, first of all, I want to commend y'all because yeah. y'all didn't duck anything. Uh, Normally, they get the cop in the please and be like, "Well, it's different." Y'all gave us it all, mm -hmm. and no, I appreciate that because that definitely don't happen on here. Much yeah. as I tell them it's open, yeah. much as I say, "Hey, we're gonna protect y'all," 
I take the hit for it. Yeah. No, y'all left it out. Yeah, we needed this platform to get the truth out yeah. and to shine light appreciate on our program. It. Definitely appreciate Thank you letting us come through. That's all it is, man. No, I just man. Want to grow this program. And I tell y'all, anything that y'all have mm -hmm. that y'all want to promote, tag me in it. All right. Copy. The Ball in the V8 podcast, and I will post it. That's just something that I do. Copy. I have no problem doing it. If you say that you'll send it to me by text, you got my number, mm -hmm. send it to me, and I'll put it out there because that's just what I do. You know what I'm saying? I can't get to every school, but if I see something I like and I think it's interesting to me, I post it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I have no problem with helping, man. Any way that we can try to help and and then we can do, just let me know. And if, if it's in our power, we'll make it happen. Yes, sir. If we have to come out to a, bring ball in the VA out to the school, say, hey, man, we want y'all to come out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'll come out. I ain't no problem doing that. That's dope. Appreciate One you. One thing That's I dope. do want to do, though, mm -hmm. um, is just, as you say, give flowers to... So, I do a lot, but I don't do it all by myself. Mm -hmm. So, I definitely want to um, recognize Azalea and what? Jasmine. Um, they work in student services at the school. And okay. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's a few of the student services department that mm -hmm. hold, they hold me down. They definitely help me out. Um, there's been a few times when um, they'll send me a cash app, like, for the Brentsville game. I'm like, okay, they got to take this two-hour drive. They need something mm -hmm. to eat when they go back home. So I had um, myself and Azalea and a few others um, cash apping me money to get pizza for them to come back. We getting snacks. We getting Gatorade. We getting water. So I definitely want to shout out um, those, especially those two who for sure helped me. Azalea, hold, she hold me down. She helps out a lot. So yes, definitely want to shout you out and say thank you for that. Okay. Any, well, any other shout outs? Yeah, any other shout outs before y'all go? Uh, man, I ain't going to lie. I got to shout the AD, man. I ain't going to lie. Like he, yeah, well, He's been like one of the people that has really had our backs, man. I, I know we ain't got all the money, but he's, man, he's made ways. Like. Wow. We try, we try what we have. That's how we try to get donations. Like, not said we need it, but in the day, it would help. See, you know what I mean? Because it helped build the program a bit more. Like I said, it's not the easiest state being an AD and having to deal with, you know, the the financial aspects of it. Because yeah. you got to, he tough. really tries, man. He tries, man. So, sometimes he got to press his own stuff. You know, he done did it a few times. But we listen, we take it on the chair. Like, hey, all right, cool, let's do this. So we got it, so we got So we got to do, we got Gaze what you got. So shout out to AD. Uh, what's it? Ando Anderson. Yeah, uh, Glenn Anderson. Okay. Glenn Anderson. Lou Anderson. So. Okay. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I haven't met him, but yeah. I really cool people. Him. Very good person. And lastly, I would like to shout out the uh, the the whole Armstrong Wildcat school staff, admin, teachers. Yes, sir. Y'all did that this year. Alumni. <laughs> y'all did that. Alumni. Thank y'all for supporting us, man. Y'all did that. You know, I know. Some of y'all couldn't be there at the games, but y'all was there in spirit. Mm -hmm. Y'all did that. Absolutely. Appreciate y'all. Love. Thank you, alumni. Thank y'all for everything y'all done for us, man. This is it's a year to remember. It's going to be a year in the, a year in the history yeah. books, but it's a year to remember. It's a year to remember, man. Wow. I wouldn't want it any other way. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Like I said, I ain't got nothing else to say. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, now, you know, I got to come over there more. I won't be wearing orange and blue. I'm I feel yeah. you. I'm not doing that. Yeah, we got gray. Yeah, we got gray. You see, we switching it up. We got black too. Listen, I, listen. I I normally support. I might put on the gear. We got black and stuff like that, but I can't do it, man. I just can't do it. Listen, I, mean, I can't do it. I, 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 I just come in by ball and VA stuff or just yeah, come new to like wrong, I, I, I can't. The kids enjoy I can't too. I cannot put on nothing that has Armstrong on it. I just wrong, can't, man. man. Just break drink it, just break it. I can support y'all, but I can't put on the gear. I cannot. <laughs> it is what it is. I support. can't do it. That's what we that's just like if that's just like if if, if I'm Michigan, Ohio State, or Dallas and Redskins mm -hmm. or whatever. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Animal. The support is enough, yeah, as long I, as you did. I, I can support all day, but I would not put on that orange and blue. I can't do it. Hey, last name. College coaches, come shop. Absolutely. Uh, it's talent grades. here. Come they got grades, man. Shop. They got the grades. They got the talent. It's worth it, man. I promise it you. Is. You won't be disappointed. Come Y'all make sure that y'all, again, put y'all the contact information so these coaches can come out there again. Say it one more time before we go. Coach Pruitt, at Coach Pruitt 50. That's my Twitter. Coach Pruitt, 5 0. At Coach 1K. Coach Allman, quarterback coach. I don't know about head. Okay. Coach cool. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Hold on. I'm about to get to you right now so I can make sure we got it. Yeah.
Okay, we're going to wrap this thing up, yes, sir. man. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Look, we went over the... I already knew we was going to do yeah, that. We, I, oh. I, when, I looked at it, when I looked up, it was 26 minutes, and I knew what we was at. Yeah. I was like, it's out the window. I already know how uh, it's going to so, go. My Twitter handle is uh, at Gene, J-E-A-N, Head, H-E-N, Coach, O-C, uh, for Twitter. So, like I said, hit me up if, you know, try to recruit some of these kids. It's an opportunity for them to go off to college. Give them that dream. Give them the opportunity. Come shop. Come shop. shop. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. We got two for we one. We got players, I promise you. They ain't got no stars, but they'll definitely, they'll be one of them kids that's going to work for you. And come so. through for a basketball game this year. Oh, not come to the basketball game. Yeah, come now, through. I was, I was there. Now, I was Shout there. Out Coach Watt. Shout out Watt. Yeah, I, yeah, I was out there. I was there for the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Last With, uh, yeah. Canard. Canard yeah, yeah, yeah Canard, I was there that's my that. dog. I felt so funny, man. <laughs> I, I, that was my first time actually being in school since... Before, what was it, 2001? Something mm. like that? It's been a long time. And I, I didn't I, I didn't recognize it. <coughs> yeah. I, I, I wasn't there very long. <laughs> I was there to take pictures and I left. <laughs> definitely come out and support. I'm we doing so much shade. It's all good. It's all good. No, I feel good, man. I'll definitely be there for some games. Thank you. But yeah, man. Y'all, please subscribe and like and share this thing, man. This is, this is what we do to keep these lights on. You know, this... It's 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 hard out here for a pimp. I'm not saying that I'm a pimp. I'm just quoting the quote. You know what I'm saying? You know we we need the support and stuff. That's like they say the same thing. But um, we thank y'all for tuning in today. This episode will be out in a couple of days. Shout out to Doctor O Level at Playing Field. Shout out to Rick Stock Real Estate. That's and great. we out. I appreciate y'all watching the episode again today, y'all. You know, go over and make sure that y'all check out my man, rickstocker.com, for any of your home buying needs. Appreciate it. Thanks again.